Hello, everybody. I'm we're live, guys. I'm sorry. I had a, I was muted and I was telling you guys we're going live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we're live. A team skeptic live show is nothing is nothing without a failure at the beginning and at the end. Uh, Aaron, you're going to actually oh, you're going to actually learn that tonight because uh, I fail with the best of them. So uh, I do want to turn it over. How you doing tonight? Fight. We have our uh, normal guest fight the flat earth. How you doing? Hey. Doing good. Um, you forgot to mention that you not only fail on your channel uh, team, but you can also fail my outros. I, <laughs> I mean, that's impressive. It's a skill that only you have, I, I must admit. No no one else has the ability to fail other people's outros as well as you fail, you know, your own. So, um, well, I mean, I, I bow best. to your skills. I do my best. I <laughs> but do no, my best. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I've been working hard on the comeback of um, Flurf Say What. I think people are going to enjoy that. And episode 50 of Flurfs Are Idiots. Um, I also spent my time watching the amazing destruction of Nathan Thompson by Aaron Oh, Ra. God. Now, I see yes. now, I, I like I like to, you know, have a drawn out, you know, slow kill of the flat earth, let them hang themselves. But Aaron Ra just kind of kicked the door down, opened Nathan's mouth, dropped a live grenade in and walked out. I mean, that, that was basically how he dealt with it. It was amazing. Uh, well, uh, thank you for putting it that way. I was I was just frustrated <laughs> that the guy lied to us. That did, did he? Oh, that's you know, the thing. Well, I I said that the, the the condition was that he has to have a model and he has to have a map, because here's the game, and this is this is true for all of the religious extremist science denialists. They don't want to put up a a proposing idea. They just want to poo poo whatever exists, right? They have to pretend that that the, the world doesn't know anything that way they can pretend that they know something so there has to be some mystery anything that science has explained well that they just have to reject that but they don't understand that if you're going to yeah. have an art and he wanted he wanted to, to post this as if it was a religious belief right and then i i hate that what what is the, the projection you have to understand how how weak and frail your belief is when you say well you're just as bad as me you're religious too you're, you're just yeah. admitting how weak you are but it's but it's we're talking yeah. about scientific theory. The way to con the way to contest a scientific theory is not by saying, "Well, that's wrong." If if you could do that, we understand that we're still teaching Dalton's model of the atom. Still now, in school, yeah. in college, we're still, why is it? Because we know that it's wrong. We know that it's got problems, but we also know that it works in a certain capacity. You can't replace something it's that got works with capabilities. nothing. In order, to, yeah. The only shut up, dog. Damn it, <laughs> puppies. Yeah, he's got to he's got to ruin every fucking pup. Anyway, <laughs> the, the way to contest a scientific theory, uh, it, it, and even a model, is that you have to present another one that accounts for all of the data better than the current model does, and so you have to have that one testable too. It's not enough to, but the game that they want to do instead is just the argument from incredulity, right? How, how hard is that? If you already don't understand something, to just continue to not understand it. It's so yeah. easy to do. I did, a, I, did a, a, I did a debate against a paleontologist wherein I play the part of a creationist. It's so easy. You just constantly interrupt with something stupid, and the stupider it is, the better it works. Yeah. And you just keep yourself as as blissfully ignorant as you want to be. It's a great game, but that's all it is. And anybody can play it. Yeah. I mean, seriously, a child could trip up the greatest scientist just by constantly interrupting to ask something even more moronic than the last thing they just asked. <laughs> yeah. So, or claiming so what you've said is some kind of fallacy or, or you're being yeah. dishonest or you know, you're avoiding the point well, when you're trying to make a point, but they have to interrupt you and claim that what you're saying is a lie to make what they're saying relevant. It's, it's hey, incredibly frustrating. Fight, fight. And, and, and there's, there's no that. way to prove there's no way to prove yeah. the point to them until we have space uh, tourism, which is upcoming. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. they just yes, canceled sir. They just canceled the Concorde, but now they're going to get something better. We're going to have space tourism. And then what are they going to say? Because they were saying until very recently that, I mean, I got into an argument with a flat earther who said that nobody can go to the Antarctica because Antarctica is blocked off by these legions or battalions of, of, all, of all these ships from every country around the world because they're all part of this unified conspiracy. And I said, well, that's funny because I know a half a dozen people who have been to Antarctica. You can go to Antarctica. Here's the website to book a tour to Antarctica. You can sail mm -hmm. to Antarctica. 
just get on a scooter and sail. You know, there's that guy, what's his, what, the rapper, BYOB? I don't know who the fuck it is. But anyway, uh, there was, there was hey, a guy yeah. who wanted to raise, yeah. <laughs> there was a guy who wanted to raise enough money to, to, I don't know, launch himself into space or something so they can see the curvature of the earth. But there's another way to do it. You know, if they, they want to pretend that the model there, if they had a model, they would pretend that the, that the um, Antarctica is not a continent, but it's a ring around the planet. Simple. How hard would it be to get somebody with, say, uh, I, I don't know, we, we get, it, get somebody has a Learjet and let's just rent that Learjet for a day. How much, how much expense would that be? Circumnavigate Antarctica. There you go. You fly dead south. You can, you can either, you can have two, two planes. You can come go down from, from Cape of Good Hope and another one come down. For, well, you know, one from South Africa, one from uh, um, South America. You converge. You find yourself in Antarctica. Now you just simply fly around it. Keep the continent on that side all day. You fly all the way around. You've got enough fuel that you can t do one circle around that continent. Brilliant. Job done. Right? Now, if, the, if that's true, then you complete, you come back to right where you were, you know that, uh, that Antarctica is just a continent, that it's not a ring around the planet. Uh, no problem. I tried to, I suggested this to this guy and he blew a gasket. He thought <laughs> that I'm super rich and powerful, I guess, that I have my own jet. He thought that I was going to force him into an airplane and force him to fly around Antarctica to force him to concede that his belief is not true. And that's when he melted down. <laughs> if you've got that kind of power and power, then, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, but it's so much easier to do than just that. I mean, just fucking book a flight from Santiago yeah. to, to, to Johannesburg or from Johannesburg to Sydney. I mean, what, you know, it's that easy, really. But they, but that's why they don't want to model because they don't want to have any, they don't want to have any accountability at all. They want to rely on the argument from ignorance, the argument from incredulity, reductio ad absurdum, and they want to bounce back to the staple of all religious belief, question begging, the circular argument routing back to the assumed conclusion that if I can disprove this, then my alternative is default true, even though there's no evidence whatsoever to support the default position. None. What? Period. Now, Aaron, uh, and, and just to make sure I'm saying it right, it's Aaron, right? Because I know there's been people that's told me it's yeah. every different which way, and I just don't want to get yeah, it Yeah, it may look like sure Aaron to some people, but it's pronounced like registered nurse. Uh, registered. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I, I do want you to, uh, to go ahead and turn it over to you. Before we get into this, uh, this deep talk, uh, I want to go ahead and turn it over to you, let you shout out your channel. Uh, plug your Patreon and I'll add that to the, uh, I'll add that to the, uh, to the, uh, description right now. All right. I'm a full-time activist. I've been doing this since, uh, full-time since I think 2014 and, um, and, and it, it, it's my sole source of income. So, I mean, I do need all the help I can get. I, I may look like I have a lot of support, but I got, I got barely enough to get by. So, I mean, really it's a struggle. So. No, I, I do. I do really do need all the help I can get. So please, uh, if you're up, if you're up to donating, I, I generally make a half a dozen videos a month. Uh, they tend to be my Quran lessons. There are going to be a science lesson. I do interviews with mainstream scientists. I just did one with Ken Miller. Uh, I'm scheduling a paleoanthropologist next. I've got another microbiologist I'm going to be interviewing after that. This is the kind of thing that I do in order to promote uh, secular politics and science education against religious extremism. God, secular politics, man. How important is that? I'm so glad that it looks like we're going to avoid having a, a young earth creationist as a vice president. When I found God. that out, I was floored. I was floored. I was like, how did we let this happen, America? How did we let this yeah. happen? Uh, and nobody ever is. Um, <clears throat> there is a flat earther that's actually part of one of the, the, the you know, the, the state you know, politics. I don't know much about American politics, but there is a flat earther involved in state politics in Nevada. And that, that worries me. Okay, now uh, before, like I said, before we get started, I want to go ahead and kick it over to JL Warren uh, because he's the last member on the panel here. What's up, JL? Hey, 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 good evening, everybody. Great intro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, if I'm introducing myself, hi everybody, I'm JL Warren. Um, no, no, you've had your chance now. Sorry, we're, we're done. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um, uh, for those who don't know me in the chat, um, I also uh, debate woo believers and theists, and uh, uh, when I can find them, because a lot of them they just they just run away. And uh, I'm trying to build my channel up in that direction, just basically tackling uh, irrationality and uh, just crazy thoughts and try to you know spread rationality and reason and uh, i also uh host a uh horror show called weekend horror where we do deep dives on horror films so if you dig that please uh, check that out and uh, that's also on youtube but uh other than that i'm just ecstatic to be here i'm sitting across from uh, one of my inspirations as a uh, debater and as uh a, oh kind of, like, you're so nice that thanks uh, and, uh, oh wait not me <laughs> <laughs> and uh aaron aaron is uh aaron is actually was instrumental in uh being one, he was one of the driving forces that got me into doing this. It was him, uh, Matt Dillahunty, and uh, several others that I was like, you know what? I think I think I could lend my voice to this cause as well. And uh, I'm just getting started. It's it's been, uh, it's been you know I'm learning. I'm still going, but um, I'm just happy to be here across from him because I could sit here just quiet and just listen. So, but yeah. All right. Well, well and, thank you very uh, much. I, go ahead. Go I like on. your studio. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Someone said it looked well, uh, like a place where they keep cursed objects. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, okay. So I obviously everybody out there probably knows me, unless you're coming from <clears throat> Ross Camp, you might not uh, be aware of who I am. Uh, I'm Team Skeptic. Uh, who? I, I absolutely fucking. <laughs> I don't like using the word hate, so I'll say I'll use the word extremely dislike. Beyond belief. Uh, to uh, for our uh, topic of discussion tonight, Mr. Nathan Thompson, uh, or Mrs. Natalie Thompson. I'm sorry. Excuse me. For hey guys, you want to hear a funny story while we're all chatting, dude? Uh, I'm dating a first grader. Oh, Nathan, will you shut up? I'm sorry. He all keeps right. coming in. So, uh, so as you know now, Arn, I'm not sure how familiar you are with my channel or not. I assume that you know uh, we, we've covered different topics, so I doubt you're familiar with me at all. But I take no shit from these guys. Up. Unfortunately, yeah, I, don't I don't get to watch. What? Oh, yeah. I don't get to watch a lot of the con uh, content that I want to. I mean, I'm watching political commentary from every direction, pretty much all day, every day anymore. Give me just a moment. I, I have, I have a uh, a very disobedient dog who's demanding to be let in. Sorry, one second. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. But it's all right, we, let we the pup her in. The, yeah, we'll get to uh, we'll get to the show here in a second or the the. Uh, the discussion here in a second we've got nathan thompson's video lined up we're going to play a little bit yeah. and then we're going to allow uh everybody to kind of comment on but i want you guys to get ready because i'm about to ask you guys to show him how much i ha how much disdain i have for this piece of shit uh when Aaron comes back and i ask you guys i want you guys to rate how much i dislike him by one to fuck you nathan and uh moderators i'm going to go ahead and give you the heads up be ready to accept all the fuck you Nathans that come in. <laughs> so we'll give Arm Raw a chance to come in. Uh, but uh, fight, man. What's going on? What do you have coming up? Well, um, I should have a debate tomorrow, but unfortunately, uh, Kyle Adams watched the episode of SOS from Friday where we were talking about <laughs> my plans for the debate and no longer wants to come along and be embarrassed. <laughs> so I'm trying to find a new flat earther for tomorrow for Monday Night Debates. Uh, apart from that, I'm working on, like I said, next episode of Flurfs Are Idiots and next episode of uh, Flurfs Say What. Episode 50 is going to be... You, you think Marvel was an ambitious crossover. You've got no idea what's coming. <laughs> Me, right. Simon Dan, Team Skeptic, Conspiracy Cats, Brainy Beaver, uh, Mr. Sensible, MC Toon, Planner Walk. Did I miss anyone? Oh, Freaky <laughs> Blinder. Yeah. yeah so, it's going to uh, be an awesome wow. video. So, Arn, are you, are, you, are you good to go? That's... Stupid ass dog pounds on the door. <laughs> I open the door and then he wants to go play. He turns around and goes the other way to go play. And now the other dogs go out after him. So now I, I go uh, close the door and they crash back into the door again. <laughs> I open the door, I let two of them in. The big stupid one just wants to play. So he barks while I'm in here and open the door and then he runs. Yeah, it the, sounds uh, an awful lot like my cats. They will scratch at my bedroom door at night to get let in, so I get out of bed, open the door, and she just stand there looking at me, and then run to the kitchen. I'm like, the, the fuck. Yeah, my, mine just wants to hang out in the backyard, but he wants me out there too. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I, look, Daddy, look see, what I'm I see, doing. 
I seriously thought there was going to be a plot twist that it wasn't actually his dog. It was Geo because Nancy got wrecked so bad that Geo ran away and found his way to Aaron. It was uh, like, I please feel so take sorry care of me. That dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just about to say, uh, I guarantee you that your dog is smarter than Nathan Thompson. 100%. <laughs> 100%. Uh, by at least 10 times. Yeah, for real. <gasps> I but, see a um, Okay. So, uh, so Aaron, just to uh, just to give you an idea of how much I dislike that piece of shit, uh, I want I told the chat to rate how much I dislike because they know me pretty well. How much do I dislike uh, Nathan Thompson on a scale of one to fuck you, Nathan? And uh, chat, please respond and allow Aaron Rod to know exactly how I feel so that I don't have to explain it. Um, now, I, my attire for tonight. Normally, I'm in my. Uh, Wait, Normally there's too I'm many. My... I can't prove that many <laughs> fucking Nathans. Hold on, st slow down. <laughs> Normally, I'm in my artistic encounter uh, tattoo. Are you familiar with artistic encounter, Aaron Raw? Are they in Dallas? Yes, yes. Billy Jack uh, Gunter, uh, good friend it's of mine. Good friend. A long of mine. time. I was a, I was a tattooist myself. Uh, before we started recording, Ooh, we nice. were talking about how you told me years ago. Well, twenty years ago, tw a little bit. Well, twenty five years ago now. I was a tattooist in the Dallas area. So, I mean, if you, if you told me anything about any, any part of my life now, it would, it just it would wholly un, unreal to my, my situation back then. <laughs> that is, well, uh, yeah. all right, Aaron, if I can ask you a question real quick, it's the only thing I've always been curious about, because you know, I recently have gotten into watching your stuff. What was the kind of uh, the moment that got that, that pretty much projected you into this, uh, into this line of work? Well, it's, it, there's never just one thing, is it? I mean, it, it truly it, builds. Yeah. It, it, and it's, and it's a bizarre story. I mean, the last tattoo I did professionally was used by the police to identify the body of a drug dealer who was murdered by people I knew while I was at a child custody battle against a stripper. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds like Dallas. Quickly. No, that, that sounds like Dallas. That sounds like Dallas. Oh, is that just an average <laughs> Thursday in Dallas? In Dallas is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I exactly. remember thinking, I remember thinking as I'm sitting in my tattoo studio, which was also my dining room, where I was currently building a Harley chopper. Uh, I remember thinking that, that, and I had two wolf hybrids and an XCOM. Can you stop getting cooler, please? Like every time you speak, you get cooler. I can't cope with this. <laughs> yeah, and, and I just remember I'm just looking at my, my living situation and I'm thinking, you know, a conservative judge might look on this negatively. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Um, uh, okay. So, I, okay I, so I quit that. I quit that, and I, I got a job as a and, and like tech support initially, and so I, I started doing like you know tech support for internet service providers and that sort of easy job, you know, just tell people to turn the computer off and turn it back on. But it, it was in a place that offered unlimited <laughs> overtime, and I was and I, I was I'm on the internet you know, for the first time. And I found myself like unrestricted browsing 12 hours a day in this office. And, and I found myself on uh, talk.origins uh, and, you know, Usenet nice. back in the day. And so I'm arguing with scientists who I've since met and befriended in real life, a whole bunch of scientists and a whole bunch of uh, religious apologists and so forth. And uh, it was pretty easy to, pretty quickly, you could find out, you know, who's got the goods and who's full of shit. And it put me on a learning curve. And I spent the next at least six years on a steep autodidact learning curve where all I'm doing all now, and, and now I'm working night shift. So I, I take like two calls a night and all I do is read all night, every night. And so I, I read like all of these, uh, a, a whole lot of scientific uh, articles, a, a whole lot of like, you know, comparative religious documents, you know, the, the, the Avestas of Zarathustra, the Bhagavad Gita, you know, things like this. I mean, and and all, I, all I was doing was learning for years and years and years. And then I finally went into college. And originally I went to get like an MCSE degree, but I accidentally walked into the wrong building. And I did, I'd never been to the college before. I, I walked into the wrong building. I happened to walk into the science building and I stood in front. I remember catching myself in front of a, a paleontology exhibit. And I knew what all the fossils were. I knew who the scientists were. I had talked to some of the scientists here. I knew all of the controversies about this. I knew everything about this fossil exhibit. And I'm like, why do I know all of this? <laughs> and I'm not using it, right? So 
So I, I, I well, went in, I, I threw away the MCSC idea and went in for as a geoscience major. And currently, I, I had to drop out later because uh, my, my job contract changed again, and it no longer afforded me the ability. It was, it was a 24-7 operation, but now I can't do you know, the two days in school and another day in a, in a tutorial lab all day. Uh, now suddenly we're on a banker's hours, Monday through Friday, nine to five kind of thing. And it, it just completely screwed my ability to do it in school. But now I'm back in and I am one, so frustrating, I'm one class away from a Bachelor of Science in Anthropology from Arizona State University's uh, School of Human Evolution and Social Change. That's awesome. The Institute of nice. Human Origins. Ah, and it's, it's frustrating because I couldn't get that one class in this semester. So when this semester ends, I'll still have like one fucking class. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll, I want to say that, you know, like uh, I, I'm the same way. Like I don't spend my time watching TV uh, or funny YouTube videos. I primarily try to spend my time in like informing myself, becoming better informed of the, you know, the deeper hidden explanation that that is uh, that is our reality. You know, so I, I spend a lot of time looking into uh science uh topics and whatnot and i agree with you i've got a copy of the bhagavad gita right here uh that i keep uh close to me just because you always got to have that other perspective when someone brings up the argument you got to be able to whip it out and see it for yourself and understand it for yourself before you can attack it that's one of the things that happened with the the flat earth debate that you had like he was not attacking anything that you held to be true <clears throat> right like like we say this all the time, a flat earther does what pulls the ultimate straw man. He tells you what your model is, and then he attacks what he told you his your model was without recognizing whether the model is uh, your actual model or is not your actual model. Like for instance, we don't, you know, that that like uh, uh, what what's something they say fight that where they're like uh, your model says this. Like the Coriolis effect, for instance, you know, they're always like, well, your model says that the atmosphere is moving detached from the, the surface of the, the earth. It's a completely different uh, frame of reference. And you're like, like that's not even a, a valid argument for your side. You know, like, what are you, what are you trying to say when you say that? You know, can you that, I, that, I, he I, proved elaborate he didn't more? Even know what the Coriolis is. So that, that was, that was. No. <clears throat> yeah. I, so I, I, their I entire... He doesn't know. I mean, I've debated Nathan many times, uh, Aaron, and um, the, the intro that he gave you is exactly the same intro that he gave me. And minus that's, the, that's all he's hey, got. Hold on, is... hold on. We need to, we need to remember, <laughs> it's minus his, his normal intro. Hi, guys, my name is Nathan Thompson, and I'm the leader of the largest <laughs> flat earth group on the, on the history of yeah. the world uh, of researchers that, that are above and beyond any PhD scientist ever that could, you, you could think of. Now, what does he say? Fight? I've debated 10,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> There's no yeah, way he's debated ten thousand people, did, by the way. I've that's four people a day people, right. for the amount of time he's been doing it. Bollocks! All right, so go but, go um, ahead, fight. Play it, this. Play the, that that uh, clip real quick. Official flat earth and globe discussion. We got one hundred forty thousand members in there. The group was just deleted a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh it's every time funny. I hear it. Yeah. I laugh. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. So his his, his opener evil. is basically <laughs> him straw manning the globe telling you what you believe and then misunderstanding what Coriolis is it, his entire thing is a straw man and that's all flat earth ever has well this is what I think your model says it should do but the thing that I say your model should do is actually impossible therefore your model doesn't work it, it blows my mind and I've I've explained to him what Coriolis is and he just ignores it yeah. Okay. Team, so, uh, team, uh, team skeptic, uh, uh, team skeptic debunked the whole like San Jacinto thing, the seeing too far thing. He did that live in Dallas. Yeah. I was standing right there when he did it, and yeah. it's, you know, not to mention all that proselytizing there at the very beginning of the of the debate. I don't know where that came. Out. I'm pretty sure he was doing that because he wanted to needle Aaron. I'm pretty sure that's why he was doing that. Which is like, oh, I'm gonna. God loves you, and he, you're made in His image like this. I could just see you going like, dude, man, come on, like really. Yeah. <laughs> Yet another religious apologist. Well, uh, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and jump directly into this debate. Um, we're going to let it play for a few minutes and we'll stop it. Oh, and, uh... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make fun of we're going to make fun of Nathan because he, he made an absolute ass of himself. And we're all going to just have a good time poking some fun at that dipshit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, 
And, and if any time you want to stop and show what how he was wrong and how he didn't let you finish or whatever, because I when I watched it, I was like, I, I don't know how you fucking stayed as long as you did, because you told him, hey, no, I, he didn't meet any of my requirements. I'm out of here. And then James kept you around for about another 15 minutes while Nathan kept fucking saying, but I don't that, believe that really, in the map and I don't believe in that. Yeah. And that really pissed me off because it should have been that, that, you know, James realized, hey, this guy, this guy lied to us. He didn't provide. He, he's not going. He, he sent a map. He actually did it. Sent some little Instagram thing that described what he's supposed to believe, right? But now he says that the thing he sent to get me to join the debate is not his thing. That he's not going to. That, that he's yeah. not going to stand by that. Well, then fuck you. Yeah. See, not, it's <laughs> it, that's one of the flat Earth playbooks is to say, well, we don't have a map or a model because we don't need one. We're just pointing out the flaws in the globe. Which they can't even it, begin to do. <laughs> no, I mean, not in the slightest. Oh, right, well, uh, before you, before before you kick this off, I have a message for Aaron from Irish Demon. Um, he would like me to tell you that uh, you were one of the people that one hundred percent helped him deconvert to atheism after watching some of your excellent work. Uh, cheers, brother! You were doing a fucking awesome job. So that is from one of the four beardsmen of the apocalypse, Irish Demon. Thank you, thank you very much for that. It's, somebody told me today that uh, or last night actually that uh, that they they didn't have to watch any of my videos to know that nothing I said therein would ever convince them or any educated person. I, I said it's interesting that, that you already know without seeing that nothing I can ever say will ever fix you or, or any educated person, despite the fact that I get so many emails from people think, thanking me for walking them out of their delusion. And uh, you mm -hmm. while you're why don't you go look up the Dunning Kruger and you'll be happy? I think it was that intellectual suit on the like you gave Eric Hovind. That that was one of my favorites. <laughs> Eric Hovind admitted that, it, in a sense, he admitted that he's just a scam artist. He said that that we like this. I don't know if he meant atheists or the scientific community or whoever. You know, we needed him as much as he needed us. I'm like, no, we're not talking wow. about two different. People. We're, we're talking about shit we can show is true and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't prepared for that. That's my. That's still my favorite yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, cool. uh, what we're going to do is we're going to let this play through a little bit. We'll stop it and, and make fun of Nathan when necessary. I think you did an amazing job, and people out there who are debating should take this position a lot more often that you well, do. I want to I stress, there was no debate. No, there was no debate. Oh, no, of course there not. Was yeah. There was not. He none. showed up unprepared. And it's completely in bad faith. Project, projection is a huge part of this. He had to yeah. pretend that I was the one who was unprepared. I studied we're talk about that. We're going to talk about that because there were several logical contradictions that he made during the debate that were live, live contradictions that he held you to different standards than he held himself to. And we'll, we'll cover all that as we come across. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, uh, my God. He backpedaled so often. It was incredible. <laughs> all right. Well, here we go. Oh. We're going to start it. We're going to start it. OK, whoops. Let me get the audio on controversial topics if you're sick in the mind like us we want to let you know we have plenty more of these debates to come and so consider hitting that subscribe button if you'd like reminders of future debates like this so very excited to get into it what we are going to do is we're going to have nathan go first and he's going to have about five to ten minutes it's flexible depending on what the speaker wants to use wait, wait, that time. pause it team then yeah, i want to Aaron going with his yeah i got you got to throw in here he insisted he was angry when he when when when, when james said you guys care which one goes first and i said well the, the general rules of a typical debate is that the one making the positive claim should be the one who goes first mm -hmm. and He's what's his face the positive claim he refused to yeah. accept that he insisted that oh, i'm making God. the positive oh, claim yeah. that the earth is round i'm like you're the one that's trying to oppose the status quo dude so yours is the positive claim. You go first, according to the rules. And so he then paints it that I refuse to go first. It didn't matter to me. I just said these are the these are the standard rules for typical debates because that is the case. The one making the affirmative argument goes first. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so he believes that. Okay. He really does believe that. But let me tell you what he also believes. The ancients were the ones who made the first claim. 
Modern science replaced the ancients. Therefore, modern science is the ones making the positive are the ones making the positive claim. That's his train of thought, whether it's an, uh, a disingenuous train of thought intentionally or unintentionally because he's that fucking stupid. I don't fucking know. But to me, that's the way I that when I see the flat earther saying that I'm like, do you really think that like that the positive claim is being made by or the, that the assertion here is being made by the scientific consensus? The, the scientists around the globe that all come to the consensus and agree on a topic, you're saying that that's the claim that's being asserted tonight, not that the contrapositive claim of the earth not being a globe and being pop, being flat or concave or whatever fuck they, shape they want to say. They never think that the contrapositive is ever going to be the actual assertion when it's absolutely the fucking assertion. That by definition yeah. is the assertion. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I got I got a but, similar okay, one. Not, Somebody wants me to to prove materialism, philosophical naturalism. Uh, Excuse me. What, <laughs> what you're saying is, you and I both agree there is a natural world. You want to add a supernatural world, and you want me to prove the belief that the supernatural isn't added. That means you're making a positive claim, but you're you're going to commit the fallacy of of shifting the burden of proof by telling me to disprove your bullshit. <laughs> Excuse me. So, what so the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> well, Vince, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but the the reason I wanted it paused was, um, can we all just look at Nathan's hat for a second? What does his hat say? That's the yeah. uh, official globe kick Earth me. and flat Earth discussion hat from uh, Facebook. It, it's not. He can't. He can't let it go, I mean. can he? Yeah. <laughs> he can't let it go. Nathan, now, remember when oh, you said oh, this? Oh, oh, discussion. We got 140,000 members in there. The group was just deleted a few minutes ago. <laughs> that means you don't get right. to wear that Bye -bye. stupid hat anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, also I want everybody to know uh, for the super chats that are coming in, I will be doing a dramatic super chat reading tonight with new music. Yes, you guys are in store for something great. Uh, your um, voice hasn't recovered from last time. It doesn't matter. It's not about the voice. It's about <laughs> the energy. I watched myself last time. But I do want everybody to know that as you super chat, I will be doing a dramatic reading. Arn Raw, if you're still available for that, man, you are about, you're going to see a show, bro. <laughs> it, it, it happens. Okay. Here we go. Start kind it up. Opening statement or position speech. And then we will have the 50 to 60 minutes or so of open dialogue, as well as roughly 30 minutes of Q&A. So... Want to say, if you happen to have a question, feel free to tag me in the live chat with at Modern Day Debate. Makes it easier for me to find every question in there. And Super Chat is also an option, in which case it'll bump your question to the top of the list. We really appreciate that support. And so, with that, very excited to want to first introduce our guests. Really special, guys. This is uh, one that we were like, oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and take us past the introductions. Yeah. Well, hold on. He says some stupid shit. I remember. Oh, I think we we might have you. Let's see. Uh... Yep, I'm I'm good. Perfect. I'm a full oh, okay, that's... PhD astrophysicist. Chris Arn refused to go first, even though all the textbooks, all the mainstream science, <clears throat> all the Hollywood movies depict a globe model. We give fifty million dollars a day to NASA to depict a globe model, but for some reason he had a problem going first. And he mentioned that um, all his income is based on his activism. So if he was wrong about this, guys, that would have a serious effect on his income. And I feel bad that you have to defend the human uh, Says the uh, guy that makes a living from selling flat earth flyers. Dude, not, not just that. Says the guy who was staying at someone's house bragging about how he has eight shower heads. You didn't own not even one of them you owned, Nathan. Not to mention, it's, not to mention the guy that's personally told me home is where the dome is because I'll, that's what a fucking that's what someone does to rationalize their position in life. You know, you you make up little little statements like that to go, "Oh, being homeless, living in my car, driving around begging people to let me use one of their eight shower heads to take a fucking shower. It's not a bad thing because Home is where the dome and my friends' eight shower heads are. You know, that's what the that's that's their logical way of thinking. He's a piece of fucking shit. That he's a piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. It, no Nathan Thompson de defenders and apologists in the chat tonight. You see a Nathan Thompson defender or apologist? Go ahead and, and hit him with the timeout and let him enjoy their time in the corner with Nathan. 
it also has to be it also has to be said that uh we actually spend closer to 62 million dollars a day on nasa so i don't know why it keeps running with the 50. i, I had to find out so i did that math and it was just like yeah oh, 62 million a day that's cool should somebody and, mention and, that he's bitching about me having to defend the heliocentrific model when we're actually here to talk about geosphericity? I mean, you know, get your theories straight. But but then he wants to call it. Oh, oh yeah, because <laughs> every belief, every alternate position has to be a religious belief. <clears throat> Nobody actually knows shit because he doesn't know shit. So he does the Donald Trump <clears throat> thing. Hey, did you know? Nobody knew that you know that that, that healthcare was so complicated. <laughs> All right, this debate. I've debated maybe 10,000 people. I looked for debates. You've right, gone bullsh online. Bullshit. Sorry, sorry. Bullshit. Right. Bullshit. 10,000 people a day. Right. He told me that he's okay. been doing Look this since my... 2013, 2014, right? Now, that means at the most, he's been doing this for 2,555 days. To debate 10,000 <laughs> people means he's been dating, debating four people a day for seven years. Look at my face. Fucking moron. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> and he included like PhDs, <laughs> like 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 PhDs and NASA scientists, and like what NASA scientists would sit across from this asshole? I'm a PhD and in debate him. <laughs> 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 Fucking Wotan. <laughs> oh God! One, I did find a video, however, where a Glover came on your channel crying about how he lost a lawsuit in court. Because he could not prove the Earth's a globe. I see you shaking your head. Yes, I saw that video. Wrong. So I've debated. Uh, yeah, head. yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a huge, I'll huge, huge head. difference yes. between. Uh, yeah, there's a huge difference between what's considered uh, to be true in science versus what's considered to be true in in the court of law. In the court of law, you only have to convince. He a court case. He couldn't get it to court. He wanted oh, he to sue get the guy. Court. Okay. Contract. And the court wouldn't hear the case. They postponed him. So he paid for me to be an expert witness. And I said, you don't want, I'm not an expert witness in this. You know, I'm, I'm, trust me, you know, you, to, to tell the, to, the, the court that, that I'm going to come and defend, what, what, what is it, the, the sphericity of the earth in your court case? I, I tried to explain to that. There's a reason that this isn't going to court that has no validity. Yeah, it was a, nothing. It was, flat Earth says does. Yeah. No flat earthers ever fulfilled a contract anyway, ever, even when proven completely. Wrong. NASA employees, PhD astrophysicists, land surveyors who for twenty years have been land surveying and don't know how much Earth should curve. Eh, oh fuck me! The, the arrogance is incredible. Again, no, these professional land surveyors don't know how to do their job. Only I know how the land surveyors should actually do their fucking job. The arrogance blinds me. Aaron, right? Once I was debating a flat earther, and he told me that he is the only person in the world that understands perspective and pressure. N wow. None of the people in the Nobody world that have ever studied it before. Nobody understands. It's any set of subject better than me. That's that's uh, narcissism yeah. talking. Yeah. It blows my mind. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate to to, to to rush you through, but I'm gonna have to be on something else at eight o'clock or you know in forty five minutes. So we need we need to go through this as quick as we can. Downward tangent to our feet. I think that's embarrassing, but Here's why it's noble for me to beat Arn in the debate Sorry, guys, tonight, guys, because that. he's going to learn more from losing this debate than he would from winning, okay? People always mistake me as a flat earth idiot. That's fine because we learn from our mistakes, guys. Love is patient okay. and no kind. It's second. not jealous, boastful, okay. proud, or rude. It's not demand its own way. It's not irritated. It keeps no record of anything anyone ever does wrong. It does not rejoice in lies but rejoices in the truth. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures all things. And, Aaron, I do love you. You are made in the image of God. Uh, there you go, Aaron. He loves you, man. Yeah. You're made in I the think image there, of there's God. only one response to that, team. There is only one response to him saying that. Shut the fuck up, Nathan. <laughs> God loves me because I am made in the image of God. So God looks like me and not Nathan. 
Have you had the displeasure <laughs> of uh, debating G-Man yet? I didn't ever uh, debate G-Man. I, I apparently I talked to him two or three times and forgot that I talked to him. <laughs> but one of those times, um, I, I, I said so I, I made the mistake of saying that. Uh, well, this is the first time we've ever spoken. The guy blew his mind and started screaming at me that we've talked before. I'm sorry that I don't remember you. you know, <laughs> hey, you're not important and, enough to remember. Aaron, I, and Aaron, I don't mean to be like that. He's the, I mean, he's the most important person in the world, Aaron. You should have known that ahead of time, man. At least from I, his. I, he called me and team. <laughs> He called me and Team Skeptic racist before the debate even started because we follow evolution. And um, his justification for that is that um, uh, Darwin's book was about the um, preservation of the favorable species, uh, a favorable race, and he thought that meant against black people. I, I met like Daniel Dennett like four times. <clears throat> and he didn't remember who I was. It wasn't until like the fifth time that he could remember. Oh yeah, I met you before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you know that happens. It's it's acceptable. I mean, so you so don't don't lose your mind. I'm, and I'm you know, and, 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 really, and, and you I'm have sorry. a unique you have a very unique look, Aaron. Uh, Aaron, you have a very unique look. So for Daniel Dennett to take five times to remember you means that man is very very busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, so I feel bad that you're wrong, and I'm going to have to demolish you in this debate. Uh, I tried to do some research, find out what positions. Him. You didn't have any debates, but you did have a discussion with. Jaren from Jaronism, where you asserted Trials. a bottom-up fallacy. Apparently, you don't know things. The bottom-up fallacy is that a new one? Well, um, I've, I've uh, never heard of. Yeah. I've never heard of the bottom-up fallacy. Is that they're just uh, making well, shit up now? He's saying that okay, so we recognize that, that that ships disappear over the horizon from the bottom up, and that I'm supposed to know that according to his model, his secret <laughs> model. That he won't let anyone see, but he has, you know, like Trump's health care plan. It's it's there. We just won't show anybody that I'm supposed to know that according to his non-existent model, that things disappear from the bottom up there, too. <laughs> so so can you explain to me why it is that, that you can't see uh, op, the, the, the Burj Khalifa from anywhere in the United States, no matter how tall a building you're standing on? Fuck, from Mount Everest, that'd be closer, right? I mean, when they, yeah. you should be able to see it from Mount, Mount Everest, to, you should be able to see the Burj Khalifa on a clear day with a so, powerful uh, just, enough telescope. So just, 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 so, I, just so I'm clear, just so I'm clear, he literally made, because there is a bottom-up justification, which is a, you know, like, which is a, just a fault in logic. So he literally took that and put it to bottom-up to re referring to things disappear bottom-up and said that was a fallacy. I think so. Yeah. I, I have okay, to guess so, because so this he, is he, like, wouldn't give, he wouldn't give so me a model. Like, oh. Yeah, so this is like narcissism bordering on solipsism. I swear to God. <laughs> Roll the tape. All right. Two, you think things disappearing bottom first is empirical proof of Earth curve. I thought that was funny. You straw man a model approximately a dozen times, which is a hat trick fallacy. What model? It's a straw man. What model? Then you're begging the question. Hat trick fallacy. That, is that a new one? Is it it? I asked. Gonna I'm going to Google that shit. <laughs> I'm already ahead of you. Give me one. Yeah, yeah, he won't. He can't. There's no model. There's nothing that they can do to make a prediction. How can I straw man his model if he won't tell me what it is? All I can do is ask what it says, right? Yeah. There's no such thing as a hat trick fallacy. fallacy. Because it's not empirical evidence. <laughs> yeah, it's right. not science. It's a model. So, reification fallacy, begging the question, and a straw man, hat trick fallacy all in one. You are like the Wayne Gretzky of proving Earth is a globe, Aaron. Oh you also God. said, would the sun be out all day on a flat Earth? Now, apparently, you don't understand. Yes. Sometimes the sun is out all day in the north. Yeah. Hey, you got something right. Nathan. Yeah. Fuck you, though, Nathan. When the sun it, is that's out not, all day. That, yeah. When that's the sun a, is that's out a, all day a straw in man in your position. Go yeah. Ahead. When the sun is out all day in the north. Where is it in the south? It's yeah. nighttime. Uh, the, for every part wait. that it's all day, it's also there's a part I, of the world that's in all nighttime. How about explaining I must that, have missed, jackass? I, I must have missed the, that bit when I watched the debate because basically he's saying there, look at this proof of the globe. It's proof of flat earth. There is no way the flat earth can explain <laughs> there being 24 hours sunlight in, a, in, a, in, a, in the Arctic like that. And it have daylight. I mean... My God, this guy gets dumber every time. 
yeah, curses, also... curses axial tilt. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah. somebody in the chat makes a good point. Uh, he did say that uh, how much the earth drops tangent to our feet. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? I mean, I know what he's trying to say, but how about using like proper geometric terms or proper <laughs> terms of math, science or geometry, calculus? Any one of those terms would be easier for us to be able to have a, a conversation about what you're trying to talk about. When you say tangent to my feet, that's fucking stupid. That just shows that you have no fucking clue what your argument is, and you're just, you don't even know how to present your argument in a proper way. Either that, or you just have no clue what the fucking, the, the, the model is that you're arguing against. One of those two, it has to be true. Now, it disappears due to perspective, angular resolution sorry, right. limits, atmosphere. Uh, what was that? It, it, it's fine. We, we, we need to push through some running out of time. Disappears bottom first I'll turn because those, uh, that's speed how up things a disappear bit, so, on a flat surface. But if you increase in altitude, the sun and the moon, which I've done this observation myself on my channel, they disappear into small dots above the horizon. And so that would no, not work on a heliocentric model with the sun and moon being the size and the distance that they are. Now, you guys assert that the sun and moon setting is proof that we're on a spinning ball, but they don't even intersect the marine horizon. I've also done a test myself. Stars do not intersect the marine horizon. So another test I've done yes, is do. the green flash. Hey, uh, sailors, we're, we have a sailor on the, the panel. Uh, do the stars intersect the marine horizon there, fight? You have two sailors, yes. Um, they absolutely do. In, in fact, you know, astro blades have different sections for exactly those reasons. <laughs> astro right, labes, sorry, job. I say astro blade for some reason. <laughs> Well, there you go. Uh, Nathan, video games. Wrong, wrong again, Nathan. Well, wrong he did again. the experiment himself. And remember, this is the guy who denies that we did a moon landing, that we shot it, that we put putting people in orbit, that we have satellites we can look at, that we can predict that the that the, the, the space station is going to go by at 11.05 p.m. tonight. So take a look. 11.05. Hey, there's this, this thing. There we go. We can see it. He's denying all of this reality. And it doesn't matter that we can put a GoPro on a weather balloon. It doesn't matter all of the things we can do, satellite photos of all of the entirety of Antarctica. It doesn't matter. He's denying everything. And if we grabbed his ass and stuck him in a rocket and took him up into orbit, he would then only become part of the conspiracy so that his own following would, think, would then think that he sold out. Like everybody else when they yeah. go into like space tourism or whatever, until it becomes... Eight billion people <clears throat> lying as part of the conspiracy, and only the thirty of us in Kansas know the real secret truth. <laughs> uh, I've observed the sun setting, where the top of the sun turns green for a moment. Now, if the sun was going below the horizon, the red, orange, oh, yellow his color green flash inverts, bollocks, similar to the prism on the front of the Pink Floyd album. Still don't explain the red, the why the fucking the sun goes below the horizon the green, to begin with. And the blue. He still can't the explain that. Prism, yeah, yeah. He, he said just red, now that it doesn't go below the horizon. Then he just said that it does. So. Yeah, that's a contradiction right I've also there. taken uh, real video footage of stars that I can show you. Um, also, hundreds of star trails and um, just numerous observations. Couldn't find anything of the sort on Orange channel. I don't even know why. Yeah, but Arn, Arn, he went looking to your channel for flat earth stuff. Why is that a bad idea? Because I don't argue flat earth stuff. I promote evolution. <laughs> exactly. I explain evolution, specifically phylogeny and so forth. That's what my channel is about. Now, I do skepticism, yeah. and on rare occasions, I will deal with a flat earther. But that's that's it. So you're not going to find a lot of content. If you want to see flat earth stuff on my channel, I did do two interviews <laughs> together, five hours of trying to reason with the absolute stupidest person I've ever encountered in my entire life. <laughs> and this oh. was the guy who thought that I was going to force his ass onto a plane to fly around Antarctica just to disprove his religious belief that was more precious to him than the truth. Quick answer. Who's, <laughs> who's, who's more dumber? We're going to use that term right now. Who's more dumber, Nathan Thompson or the airplane guy? Well, Nathan Thompson really surprised me with something he's that he said in our interaction. I don't know if we're going to get to it because I'm, I'm, I'm tight. Time's getting a little tight. So let's let's see how far we get. 
and see if we get there. Okay. And I'll, I'll I, what I'll do, I'll, I'll jump ahead of your arguments since you know your arguments and uh, Nathan's going to uh, basically not address them at all. And anybody that wants to watch it, there's a link in the uh, in the description right now that you can go check that out if you want. But we'll go ahead and bypass uh, Aaron's arguments and go right to the discussion because that's where he commits a lot of the bullshit. He's here debating so here this. I don't think he's qualified. But just so you guys know, science has been hijacked. Ever since we were little kids, they taught us Science is an empirical method. When we do science, we prove things. The very next Hold day, on, you walk in the school. Wrong. 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 I'm not qualified. I'm not qualified to argue that the earth <laughs> is round. <laughs> <laughs> but this, un, this, this uneducated YouTuber, conspiracy theorist, has better qualifications than every astronaut. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Put that in perspective. Put that in your perspective. <laughs> well, and they say, look, you're on a spinning tilted ball in space with a molten iron core hotter than the surface of the sun, and you're moving 20 million miles a day through the galaxy. Because it's science, right? And that's what we're all taught as little kids. <laughs> the problem is that that's been hijacked. Okay, Science has been hijacked. It is an empirical met method for proving the cause of an effect, but there is no science to support the heliocentric model. We'll get into that in a second. I don't think he gets what so a stupid model it is. Burns. Like I, I really just no. don't think he understands that when you're talking about a scientific <laughs> model, what you're basically saying is that you're going to have an initial set of conditions and you're going to make a prediction based on that model as to what those conditions are going to evolve to given a certain amount of time or distance or whatever the case may be, some sort of measuring. So there has to be math involved. You have to be able to make a prediction for it to be considered a scientific model. Otherwise, it's just as valid as the flat earth model, which is invalid altogether and you made a great point i bring it up all the time just one fucking word people australia just fucking, <laughs> just australia. fucking australia all you gotta do is look <laughs> at it ask an australian is your country shaped like this if if somebody came and gave you a fucking america that was stretched the fuck out and all wobbly fucking looking and said this is what your country looked like you tell them they were a jackass piece of shit because that's not what my fucking country looks like. I've driven the coastline on the both the east and west coast. I would know if it didn't match the fucking cartography maps. I would know that. I, I have okay. flown from Los Angeles to New York. I have flown from Perth to Sydney. They are comparable. Australia <laughs> uh -huh. is not ice as wide as the United States, which the the, the the flat earthers stretch Australia to where it's this. It would be an eight-hour flight. I know from Perth, <laughs> it's an eight. <laughs> All right. Now, real go. quick, could I share my screen, James? Can I share my Wait, screen, James? Please don't. So <clears throat> the amount of times he was like, "Moderator, moderator, what? Aaron's he being cut, rude to me." He kept, he kept cutting you off. Is, how far can we see, ladies and, and gentlemen? If the Earth is a globe 24,901 miles around, as the heliocentric model would assert, there would be downward curve tangent to your feet in all directions. <laughs> now, for example, this is a famous photo Joshua Nowicki took from the other side of there Chicago. There would be curve I've tangent to, to your lake. feet. I've done this observation, that is. not from Joshua Nowicki, but from New Buffalo, which is approximately 10 miles shorter. But he actually got a clearer picture than I could on that day. And they said that because it was so clear on this day, it's tough because uh, Nate, or, uh, Sean Hufford fucking debunked all of this, completely debunked all of this. Okay. So we're On just going to go ahead and go through that. This was a mirage. Now they want you to believe when it's clear and you can see really far, that's distortion. That's miraging. But when things can't be seen, that's earth curve. Now that is the opposite of any logical thinking, period. But next you have all these lighthouses, ladies and gentlemen. Should be obscured by 329 feet over here in France. Um, visibility 28 miles away. Okay. He doesn't understand I can show you how, fucking, right here. how now, why the oh, lighthouses. Hold on, I want to like everything he showed right there is exactly the reason why that we we know the Earth to be curved. Because if those lighthouses weren't so tall, they would be <clears> fucking <throat> pointless. 
There's reasons. Uh-huh. People didn't conspire oh, oh. in the 1800s to build all these lighthouses in the in the northeast when they were trying to save ships from running into the fucking coastline. There was a reason why they built the fucking lighthouses hundreds of feet tall. It's because a lighthouse yeah. that's fucking 15 <clears throat> feet tall serves no fucking purpose to a ship that's approaching the coastline. Jeez, Plus they're designed right. to be seen over the curve. You know, the, the loom of the lighthouse is, is kind of a thing you learn about when, when you're a sailor, definitely. You know, the, the light goes out in a cone <laughs> and it can be seen further than you can actually see the lighthouse. It's the entire point of it. But no, no, we can see it there for the Earth's flat. And you fucking morons. Someone, someone just said that this, uh, this is appropriately called Natalie speed and it suits him fine. Once you flip the infrared, <laughs> you yeah. can see much farther. So the first argument the Earth... Oh, really? It's almost as if different w- wavelengths of light bend differently according to the laws of refraction. This wow. is the exact same, so the exact same slide that you debunked, team, in Dallas. Yeah, we same. can't see... We can't see light that's at a fucking different wavelength because it's going to have a different refractive index. That light won't bend over the curve. But light at a certain wavelength that has a higher refractive proper- properties will be able to be seen. How fucking how cool is that? You're learning science so, every day, Nathan. What you're talking about is extending where you might be able to see at one altitude 24 miles. You're, you're, you're saying that you can see slightly beyond that, right? Mm. That, that, yeah, just exactly. Slightly beyond slightly beyond the slightly expected beyond, limit. yeah under certain circumstances you can see slightly beyond burst khalifa from any place in the planet <laughs> right yep <laughs> yep no yeah you know but you made a good point like when you said that i was like yeah why why can't if a flat earther was serious about his shit right if he really said take me seriously he would go and get him a sherpa he would go up mount everest <laughs> he'd pop the fucking thousand dollar telescope down and he'd look over there and see Burj Khalifa and it would not be that hard that's not so great a distance that if the earth was flat at that elevation where it's completely fucking nothing up there to block your view you know you just see forever you should be able to look down on the Burj Khalifa no fucking problem but you can't he was asked that question about the dual sunsets of the Burj Khalifa one at the bottom one at the top and he could just completely ignored it just dodged of course. it isn't it globe is that we see far the second argument the Earth is the globe is called specular reflections. So a specular reflection means this is obviously uh, reflection of light, which angle understand. of reflected light equals the angle of incident light, but on the opposite side of the surface normal. It occurs on mirrors, for example. Now, I don't know if you guys know how mirrors are made, but they use molten metal. They melt the liquid glass on top. That's how they get bubbles to float to the top. And also mirrors and glass are perfectly flat. It's a property of fluid statics. When large bodies of water are at rest, they lay level and horizontal to the container. So... First argument. Uh, fight Second here argument, to draw wrong. level for us. What's the what's the definition of level there, fight, according to the dictionary? Well, uh, according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the definition of level is um, the liquid cordi- uh, matching the curvature of the liquid parts of Earth's surface. surface. So, so Panama level. Canal. Yeah. West versus east. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> 1,039 miles an hour. That's what heliocentric model asserts at the equator we spin it's the cause of day and night and we're moving approximately 1039 1040 miles an hour problem with this how would a spinning earth affect our atmosphere it's two options guys not 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 either of the ways that you put there really body which is what i've heard Aaron say in his discussion with jaren wasn't a debate it was a discussion he says the atmosphere moves with the earth which is denying mainstream science it's denying what neil degrasse tyson asserts it's denying what we were taught as kids which is that the earth moves under sniper bullets the earth moves under a Sagnac interferometer, Bob proved it. So on Netflix, it is, Bob- is, hold on, hold on. Is he saying the atmosphere is a sniper bullet? <laughs> He's saying that the atmosphere is the wind outside the car. You know, like I remember people being confused as to how a fly can be inside your car and fly around in your car. Why doesn't the fly zoom back to the back window? It was because we have a roof on the car. We have your windows up. If we're in a convertible, the fly is gone. <laughs> there's a, there's yeah. a whole different principle here. So he thinks he thinks that the vacuum of space, or the virtual vacuum of space, is somehow freezing the atmosphere in, in some kind of stasis relative to what nobody can imagine, so that the Earth turns under all this constant turbulence, so that the air remains fixed, and the planet spins under it so that the air comes past us at the speed of the rotation of the Earth. That's what he imagines. And that if you're not so, so blindly So there would be a thousand on our winds at the equator. 
Yeah, so if we're, if we're not so blindly idiotic to assume that, well, then we deny the Coriolis. Yeah, he, he, when I was in Dallas, I, I debated him in Dallas in person, and I'm, we could talk about that when we have a beer. But uh, I debated him in person, and we were I was sitting there, and I said, you know, he asked me, uh, when you jump up and down, does the earth rotate underneath you? And I said, yes, it does. And he's like, so you think when you jump up, up, the earth just continues to go on? And I'm like... Does the earth rotate? Yes or no? Yes, it does. According to my model, it rotates. Okay, well, great. So when I jump up, I carry the momentum that I already have being stuck to this rotating surface. The earth continues to rotate under me, but I also carry the momentum. So relative to me, we're not moving. I'm jumping up. I'm coming down in the same spot. If you were to take a picture from the outside of the earth and look at it, you would say that I jumped up, moved over with the earth and landed in the same spot on the earth. But that when I left the earth, I, there was a time when I was not attached to the earth, that the earth was rotating under me and I was carrying my momentum. And it's like, but you're, that's double speak. That's I'm like, that's not double speak. That's exactly what the fuck happens. Like yeah. when I toss this bottle up, it moves and then it comes back down and I catch it. And it's because the bottle moved too. It carried the momentum. God, what do you, you know? I, th I think, I think, I think there's a, there's, what is it? It's a law. If I remember science correctly, I think there's a conservation of momentum, something like that. I'm not sure. I, I'm terrible at science. So yeah. I mean, Newton's <laughs> laws of motion, like that. they're, they're a thing like apparently, you know, guys, um, I, stop, uh, stop. Hey, stop, stop, <laughs> stop. There's nothing to say that those are real. Okay, it's just a reification fallacy. Y'all are committing it right now. You're you're boosting up. Oh my the god, they don't who, they don't understand what the reification tested. fallacy is. It blows and my guys, mind. These these theories are only theories. They're not real. Like people don't. That there's just ideas. Come on now, guys. So we'll, we'll stay away from that. It, is, that from, is so from insulting. The theory a, fallacy. A scientific yeah. theory is a stu is a is a field of study based entirely on facts, includes facts, hypotheses, natural laws, all that. A theory is the highest level of confidence science can achieve. Laws uh -huh. are part of theories. Yeah. You know, the it, theory it, of gravity heard, includes Newton's laws of motion. I was listening to a Caltech professor the other day, and he was talking about scientific theories, and he said, he, he, he elegantly put it, he said, listen, scientific theories are the most sounded, and the most fragile things at the same time. They're yeah. sounded. They're based on evidence. They're based on experimentation that has gone on for over and over and over and over and never failed. All it takes is one. The one time it fails. The moment it fails once, it's gone. It doesn't matter about the 10 million times it passed. It's that one time that it fails that you say, we, we don't know what we're talking about. We were close. We need to reevaluate it because something else is going on, but we don't know exactly what we're talking about when we say that. And every time a scientific theory has ever been disproved, it was replaced by another theory. Exactly. The most famous example is when, when phlogiston theory was disproved by oxygen theory. So mm -hmm. oxygen that you're breathing is only a theory. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on. Arne, before we go forward, there is a group of people out there that one day I'm going to have to make you aware of who believe that oxygen is not really an element. It's just a gradient of air. OK, so when you're breathing oxygen in, you're just breathing in different gradients of air. And when you're breathing out carbon dioxide, it's a different gradient of air. OK, just chemistry is a lie. Uh, just so you know, they're called Peter and Pete. Look them up. They're hilarious. But here you go. We're going to go on with more of Chipmunk Nathan. Um, that, guys, is if the Earth moves made my under those, hurt. it would have to move under everything else. And if the atmosphere moves with the Earth, well, there's a problem with that. That's not how fluid dynamics work. Okay? Uh, bullshit. I bullshit. asked him Sorry. I asked him what fluid dynamics were because uh, he used exactly the same spiel. So I was like, can you tell me what fluid dynamics is? And he said, yeah, it's not that. Yeah, he doesn't understand that he doesn't understand that there are uh, that friction occurs that there's intermolecular bonds that all play a role just go take a pot of water and stir the water up enough to where all the water is moving at the same time and if you look down and you could visualize it all those points of water are traveling around with each other 
You can even let go of the spoon and the spoon will rotate with the water. This is because of friction, because of intermolecular bonds. We have a spinning earth that's creating friction with the atmosphere. The atmosphere closest to the earth creates friction with the above and so forth and so forth and so forth. And when you've had four fucking billion years to do that, everything spins at the same fucking rate. It's just how shit works. Yep. Yeah, and we, we have to remember that the atmosphere is not completely static when it when it moves with the earth. I mean, it does move with the earth, but not not like not a, a completely stagnant pond. You know, like when you have water in a fish tank where it just sits completely still and there's no circulation or anything, because there is things that happen. I mean, there's a high there's pressure, there's high pressure, low pressure, there's temperature variance that causes the the air to move, but it doesn't cause the, the air to move completely independently of the rotation. So, I mean, and you can, somebody needs to explain to him about how Coriolis is, and I think I'm going to do a video that explains to I've tried. how Coriolis <laughs> works against the argument that they're talking about. If, if you'd like, and because I'm not going to have time to, to address it here, if you, you can discuss the discrepancy of the, the bullet, the adjustments that the, that the cannon shell has to be made for shooting yeah. 25 miles away and all that, and how it's actually the difference in uh, airplane velocity going east to west, how it varies only by only like 100 miles an hour or, or at uh, 3,000 feet, uh, or was it 3,000 yards? The bullet only varies by a foot. You know, that it's not a huge discrepancy, but, you know, they're, 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 it's not entirely independent. Because uh, a lot of people don't understand, you know, if there's an extenuating circumstance, you know, they, they think binary. They're, so they're not going to get it. It's going to yeah. take yeah. some kind of in-depth. Absolutely. They think binary. binary. Now, Aaron, I'll tell you, uh, if, at, if at any time you decide you want to go ahead and get me and Fight to submit a little bit, like a small portion of science to add to your video... I know I would be more than happy to do it. You're one of my favorite oh, yeah. uh, YouTubers to watch, and I'm sure Fight would too. And just as an add-on to your video, we could talk about some of the science parts of it, some of the physics. Well, we could, yeah, we could definitely work that out and do a do an edited video that discusses some of these points. That's sure. probably yeah, really good. I, like that. I don't Great. know that I have That's time awesome. to sit through what we're what we're going through. What 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 I'm waiting for is for this guy. To tell me when I went, because he did not want me to visit uh, a question against his model that he insists that he doesn't have, that I'm strawmanning at the same time, that the model he doesn't so, have that I'm strawmanning somehow, because I don't understand I've, the model that he won't tell me. What I've done oh, is yeah. I've gone ahead and moved it up beyond all the intro so you can get to the uh, parts where y'all talk and uh, we'll sure. deal with him Perfect. and, and his right idiocracy. On. The moon, it stays Let me... uh, it locked in a gravitational tug. <laughs> you so sound great, is, though. That your your voice matches that beautiful hair of yours. The moon and the Earth are orbiting, in a sense, each other. No, speed they're, it up. They're held okay. by this gravitational pull, <laughs> and there's already motion, so it's going to keep up perpetually. Right. But in your in your yeah. attempt at a model, it's not that way. You have this giant orb weighing however many tons you want it to be that's so just suspended and moving slowly over the planet. So you've got this you're big disc. You're going to assume the moon has weight. You're going to assume the moon has weight, and that it's physical. Okay. Okay. Hold I can't understand this, what he's saying. He said this was when he y'all were talking about uh, the moon, and he was like trying to say that when you kept telling him this is what you believe, and he was like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You know, you're saying you're asserting that I believe that the moon is a physical object. Well, what he kept saying, he goes, the moon is an object that's stuck in the firmament that's not a physical object. That's what his argument or came down to. When was he him said saying, when he said that the sun and the moon are not physical. <laughs> yeah oh yeah. but then he also tried to say yeah but it's plasma yeah plasma is a physical thing dude plasma was a physical thing and you were like yes I it is. That. like he i didn't realize how stupid he was until he said that oh maybe we should have warned you aaron you could have prepared um you know for the, for the stupidity a bit better because imagine the stupidest person you can imagine well nathan thompson is stupider than that yeah, hundred percent. All right, here we go. Doesn't fall down on a platter. Well, let me tell you, Aaron. What other it's things like, fall hey, down at the moon? Doesn't... I know you've got to censor me because that's what YouTube and all your controllers do that push your main. <laughs> your controllers. <laughs> Iron Raw, they're controlled. I love it. You, you know, Aaron. You know, Aaron Raw gets a bigger NASA check than any of us. <laughs> hey, oh yeah, Aaron, yeah, man. How... <laughs> yeah, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Should this fictional or fictitious fucking handler of yours exist? Please describe what he looks like. 
the fuck if I know. I the, the best I can tell. I've I've been accused of being part of the Illuminati. Oh and yeah. In, in which case, I'm left out of all the meetings, and I am clearly the lowest paid member. <laughs> what you didn't realize, what you didn't realize, Arn, was tonight was your first meeting. Welcome to the Illuminati, because all of us <laughs> you here passed. are confirmed members. Train writer. <laughs> <laughs> Now, okay, so please, yeah, if you're gonna shut, talk to don't me, tell anyone. Aaron, let me talk. Okay, so you're censoring. What, what me. do you mean, a controllers? You're censoring me, Aaron. You're not letting me talk. <laughs> you're lying about me. I'm not going to let I, that happen. What did I lie about you? About I don't have controllers. <laughs> oh, I don't have a religion. <laughs> the people who told you Earth is a spinning ball because you haven't tested it, Aaron, are. Have I? I have tested it. I oh, have tested it. it. Where, yes, where I have. I hate his fucking condescending voice. You haven't yep. tested it, oh, God, yeah. Oh, I'm getting crunk for the super chat reading, guys. I'm getting crunk. I've, I've been all over. I've been all over the world. I've have, you look at your map. Look at your your uh, your globe. Or okay, not so your tests are looking at my map. What's that? Your tests oh, are God. looking at my map and being at various places on it. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so look, going, look at your so polar projection map. So There's so much wrong with that. Orange test to prove Earth is a spinning globe is that he's been places. Yeah, cool story. That's a pretty good test, yeah, actually. Let's get specific. I, I, yeah, Nathan would would have you believe that him being places means driving from fucking Utah to California to Texas to Virginia to North Carolina because that's where his fucking his next home is until he pisses that person off. That's what he'd have you believe, but he ain't never think done about no that. Traveling let's in his get specific life. about right. that. So let's look at your point. polar projection map. Right. Look at Australia on your polar projection. Wait, map. We're moving. We're transferring. You're bouncing around topics. We're, we're, yeah, we're going right. right Hey, I'm sorry, Arn, but when you told him that when you made him and informed him of the uh, that he was actually using a polar projection map, you confused the shit out of him. Because as many times as yeah, they put he that map realize. down, they don't know what that fucking means whatsoever. But it's flat. To a topic, yes. a specific topic you asked for. Topic. Let's do it. So let's you look at the specific one sec. Look okay, at one your sec. polar one sec. projection right. map. Gentlemen, one second. Yeah, I hate to interrupt. Look at I hate to interrupt. I hate to interrupt. It's but your map. It's do. your. You want to okay. propose I hate doing this. So uh, we had some mute. I love, I love, I love this part because we can still hear you guys in the background. Just to kind of jump back on track. Yeah. Maybe there's something we can do in terms of kind of covering one topic and then jumping over to the other. So is there? So. <laughs> Sorry. It's not another. It's the same topic. You asked me why the moon doesn't fall towards Earth. You said I didn't prove. Did I didn't test the model? I did test the model. Question. Because he got to ask the first question. I think it's fair if we go back and forth. Let's let's humor Aaron on this one. Then James attempting to moderate. No 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 no. I want to stay on the first topic. James asked me why the moon doesn't fall towards Earth. Now he's talking about my map. Okay. Okay. Talk about the map. Oh oh hey hold on hold on hold on hold on Aaron. He just admitted it was his map. It was his map. Yeah. He just fucking admitted it right. Fu I'm sorry I didn't the catch it the first time I listened me. to this. The one the he one sent he you. The Hold on. Also, the one he's about to deny. Outright and say, no, that is not my map. I do not subscribe to that map. However, he just said my map. He just said he's. that's the map he fucking sent you. Come on. Yeah, Nate, no, Nathan's a fucking up. joke. I'm going to have to bow out at this moment, but it was then when he admitted that he had sent me that, that Instagram shit with the map on it, that he, that he now is going to disavow that that means this uh -huh. is an entire, he lied to get me to agree to that debate. Yep. And it, at that moment, that's it. We're done. You, you yeah. lied. You came unprepared. You, you, you did not meet the criteria knowingly. You falsified the moderator should have ended it then and i i, I had to, i had no choice. the moderator would not end it i'm like fine fuck you your only thing that you can do is insult me and lie about me and that's it and that's all i'm out <clears throat> welcome to flat earth Arn. he was yeah. chasing your clout he was chasing your clout man yeah, I, Arn, I, look I, man i, I want to say that i, I want to say we're going to finish watching this debate personally i felt like you did a fucking wonderful job i know how hard it is when he tries to trigger you because he he knows once you said don't lie about me that's when he used that as a way of poking the bear and i know yeah. how frustrating that can be but i want to say that you did an amazing job uh everybody out there if you're listening now and you're not already familiar with Arn rod go go subscribe to him 
Uh, I think you're the second largest person I've ever had on this channel. I think where well, you're you're getting up there in subscribers, like what six, seven hundred thousand, or something like that. Maybe even more than that. I've only got a quarter million. Oh well, you know that was maybe in my dreams last night when I was talking. You know what it was? <laughs> I was thinking about just fucking creating five hundred thousand sock accounts and signing up for your channel five hundred thousand times. <laughs> No, uh, but seriously, uh, thank you for coming on, and you're welcome to come back anytime. We talk shit, man. Like I said, this is one of those channels that we come on here. We call it out how it is. It doesn't always work for the person we're calling it for, but that's not on us. They should change their ways if they don't want us to call it how it is. So I'm sorry you're that welcome I had to come something in. else booked this evening when you invited me, so I could only be on for an hour. So oh no, my, not a problem. Cool. It was last to minute, you. super last minute, and, and we'll R get you on science and satire. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, so Aaron, it was an absolute pleasure. This has been this has been awesome for me. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. We'll you on, yeah, we'll, we'll get you up on uh, on the science or satire uh, podcast. We, we may do a collab on this because you suggested it, and I don't think one hundred percent. Well, yeah, no, I'm hundred percent on that. I'm hundred percent for that. I we know we know Coriolis inside and out. We can speak from all aspects of the physics uh, explanation, and we know Nathan's yep, stupidity inside that. and out as well. Good. So. Good. Let's talk about that. Let's do that later. I'm going to have to bail. Take Good care, my friend. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thanks be for safe. coming, Aaron. Take care. In the firmament, they would not be falling towards Earth. They're not physical objects, and their gravity is not real. Hot air balloons and helium balloons go up, Aaron. So what? now can I ask so, you So you're saying the moon is, now, yes, the moon is not real? Yes, you fucking moron. Yeah. No, because there's a force in the uh, opposite direction. Isn't that how it's supposed to work? It's, it's because <laughs> yeah. of gravity. If there was I mean, no gravity, guess what, guys? Guess what? If there was no gravity, the helium balloon would not rise. That's the no. Thing. no. That's the thing. And uh, it basically, what he's doing again is being um, incredulous about our model, and then going, "Yeah, but that means it doesn't work." When our model says that that should work. Oh my God, he's a fucking moron, dude. I need to take a ride. I'll be back in one sec. All right. Well, uh, we'll go ahead and play a little bit of this. Me and me. Hey, and it's just you and me, team. You, you said it's you said it's not a physical object. Pull the hair back, okay? So you said it's not a physical what object. The, oh fuck hey, him! Pull the hair back. Hold on. That's a beautiful. God, hair right there, guys. Beautiful. I hate when he starts when he means? starts swinging at homes and shit. I, or he just yeah, uh, insults are one thing, but just assuming that because he asserts multiple times that because Aaron has a drink in his hand or because Aaron has long hair that he just can't talk about shit like this. So Aaron, yeah, fuck this. Aaren. 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 Sorry, my bad. Aaron. Yeah. That Aaron. No. You know. Going after his looks, going after whatever, it just pisses me I off. I don't mind. I, I didn't mind him having a couple of drinks. I've seen Arn uh, do several debates and several uh, live discussions where he seems to be able to hold his wits with a few six oh, hell yeah. beers inside of him. So but, but, I, I mean, for like an Arn that, that drinks a little bit. Helps him but for you know, pot calling kettle black over here, motherfucker, this dude is like uh, who gets drunk or gets high on fucking streams is going to uh, gonna go after him for having a, for having a drink. I had a drink here. Yeah. Fuck this asshole. I should go have a drink too, but I'll have his vodka. I want whiskey. All right, here Ooh, we go. Yeah, that sounds good. And that doesn't necessitate that it has to be a physical object, okay? Now, is gas... Well, it's an imaginary object then, if it's not physical. No, it's not imaginary, okay? What's it's the option? Just, uh, will you agree <laughs> that solids... It's <laughs> either made of matter and energy, or it's made of imagination. Which one is it? <laughs> it's matter. I love that. that was, I absolutely that love that. That was one of the best... Yeah. <laughs> It's either Someone's made clip of matter that. and energy. It's either made yeah. of matter. And, yeah, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna turn this down to one hundred now because I wanted to do that just to get as much of it in with Arn. And if he goes back and listens to this at the end, man, you know it's great having you on. But uh, we are gonna play that again because that was absolutely amazing. He said it's either made of matter or energy, or it's made of imagination. Or <laughs> <laughs> Until I cover his first question, Arn, the sun and the moon are locked in the firmament. They would not. Okay, be hold on. First contradiction here. First con or not first. He's already contradicted himself several times. But let's. I want everybody to hear this. Okay, he just said he made the assertion that the sun and the moon are locked in the firmament, but he also said that Aaron Raw was not allowed to present evidence that he had no, uh, that he didn't get himself or anything like that. Anything that wasn't empiric empirically based. He didn't want anything. He says science is completely non empirically based. However, he's never seen. A sun inside of a firmament. Guaranteed. That photo does not exist. Also, he's never been high enough in the sky to see a sun inside of a firmament. Because the firmament would obviously have to be above where the atmosphere ended, where humans could actually live and breathe. 
So he's never been up there to see it himself, and he's never seen an actual picture of it or I'd know that it existed. He is just making a claim based on hearsay and, like Aaron said, imagination. Yep. Here we go. Falling towards Earth, they're not physical objects. And just remember that he said that real. when he starts Hot telling Aaron the same thing. And helium balloons go <clears throat> up, Aaron. So what now? Can I ask so, a question? So you're saying the moon now, is the moon is I, not real? No, I did not say the moon is fake, Aaron. You got to say it's not a physical object. Yes, Pull the hair back, okay? So you said it's not a physical are, object. Things can what be does that real. mean to you? And that doesn't necessitate that it has to be a physical object, okay? Now, is gas... Well, it's an imaginary yeah, object, it does. Right, if it's not physical. No, it's not imaginary, okay? What's Just, the option? <laughs> will you agree that solids... It's either be... made of matter and energy, or it's made of imagination. Which one is it? <laughs> well, is plasma... That's thing? so beautiful. Yeah, it's matter. Is okay. plas yeah, plasma... Right. Thing? <laughs> so is it a is Solid. the moon a physical... Why, hold on, hold on. Why did Nathan avoid that answer? He said, yes, it is. And he just said, okay. And just kept going. Like, what were the what was the point of asking that dumbass question, Nathan? Really? <laughs> what was the point of that? Thing? Or is it an know. imaginary I thing? I don't have claims about what the moon is. You do, Aaron. I'm asking you. No, he it? just made he just made a claim of what the moon was. He made a claim that it was an object that stuck in the firmament. He made that's a claim. Asking I, you a I question, a claim. I now he has to prove the firmament. Why don't you give me an answer? about what the moon is, you do. You said the moon is not a physical thing and neither is the sun. No, I said you're gonna assume it. I said- No, I'm it. asking ah. you the questions. That means I don't assume. I don't straw man okay, either. Great. Because I, I ask know. questions and then I listen to you fail to answer them. Can you ask me again what the moon is? Exactly, what yeah. is the moon? You said this it's This is not a good clip. Hey, listen guys, this is a good audio clip clip coming up, all right? <laughs> listen. Physical, are you ready to recant that and decide time, that it is physical? Aaron, you gotta stop talking if you're gonna ask me what the moon is. So for the fourth time, Aaron, take a big gulp. I don't know what the moon is. You assert <laughs> it's a physical object in oh, space. Yeah. Now, I don't the know question, what the moon is. Didn't answer the first one. I know <laughs> exactly <laughs> where what I'm what putting that. You said I'm pause it, pause it. For not testing I'm, pause it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, did. when I when I do a video, I'm going to be like, yeah, who, you know, everyone knows what what the what the moon is. You have to be a complete retard to not know what the moon is. Then I'm just going to go to the clip of Nathan going, oh, "I don't oh, know okay. what the moon is." There we go, boom! Me, I already know where I'm putting that. Hold on, let me back it up so you can get the uh, the 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 proper uh, picture. Oh, I've already got this downloaded. It's cool. It's okay, already cool. it's cool. I've already got this downloaded. <laughs> All right, let me. Uh, I'm I'm going to put up a picture for Arn Ross so I can get him him off camera. All right. I don't know what the moon is. I, I don't know what the moon is. For the fourth time, Aaron. He, he, no, he started it out with, do you want to let me finish talking so I can tell you what I think the moon is? And he said, okay. And he goes, for the fourth time, Aaron. I don't know what the moon is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you what the, I think the moon is. I've, I've never heard anybody oh, and him so starting to go, moderator, 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 moderator. <laughs> I want that. I want that as a clip. I need that as an audio clip, just uh, on my soundboard of him going moderator. Yeah, I I downloaded. It. I was already uh, putting those on too. But uh, I'll, if I get them or you get them, either one, share it with me if you get it first, and I'll share it with you if I get it yeah. first. But it was hilarious. Moderator, moderator, uh, moderator. Is it my I almost want to debate me because I answered his question. The moon doesn't fall to Earth because it's in the firmament. Can I ask a question now? Yeah, there That's is a no claim. firmament. There just That's a no claim. Yeah. He yeah. it's imaginary, but it's not imaginary. It's real, but it's not real. So, and then he doesn't know what it is, but it's locked in a giant dome that we know isn't there because he denies all the evidence that there isn't that it isn't there. But he's going <laughs> to challenge right, me from... that I haven't tested it when I did. All right. Uh, You've got to go be ahead, better Nathan. than this. You said you debated ten thousand people, and you you don't know any better than that. <laughs> Four people a day for seven years. Yeah, right. I don't have a religion, God, but I do it. hate Let's... when people lie to me and tell me that I do. Being against religion is not a religion. Being against faith is not a faith. I wish you guys would get would get that, but you understand that you can't defend your religious position, so you have to pretend that every other position is religious too. No, it's I, not. My position is based on science, which means that I have predictive models and that it can be falsified. Yours can't be. Yours makes no predictions, has no evidence, and can't be falsified. Yours is a religious belief. Mine is not. I can demonstrate that mine is not using your model. <laughs> nuke nuke the side from orbit. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, I fucking love yeah, it when he goes there off. There is no response for that, uh, Nathan. There is no response. <laughs> the proper response is uh, just to shut up and go to the next question. You can see in his I, eyes, I, I man. Have he tangled, a new, I, you can see in his eyes. He tangled I have a, with the wrong dude here. <laughs> yeah. I have a new Nathan Thompson meme if you want to quickly show that team. Yeah, go ahead. Let me get you on on a up up up. Where did I put you? There? I gotta find your call. Oh, there you are. Oh, Nathan, did you back the wrong horse? <laughs> nope, nope. Still don't have <laughs> one hundred and forty thousand members. Uh, <laughs> that's great. That's great. You guys keep them coming. Keep them coming. Here we go. Send that to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm I'm emailing it to him right now. Jeez, <laughs> moderator, please. Hello. Ah, there it is. Moderator. Now. Moderator. Go go hold on. He had not got, got there yet. Go ahead and ask your Yeah, he's lying about how I'm triggered and lying about how I have a religion and all of that. If that's all he can do, why did you platform this guy? Boom. 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 The question. Put, put, I, put James I on notice. Platform. I won't platform him. That's the thing. I won't platform him. He's not worth my time. I, I, don't I, care I, how I almost want wants. to debate him again just so I can embarrass him. But, I mean, it's the, the thought of giving him a platform. It is icky, you know. I want yeah, to debate I him because I, I want to show how stupid he is. Oh, but you gotta be I shitting, couldn't man. bring myself to to give him that platform. I wouldn't have him on my channel. And I don't really want to put him on Modern Day Debate channel because James kind of lets him say what he wants. So, All right. no. Gentlemen, I got to so step away for a brief second. I got. I got right, Let's more. get, let's get this uh this debate done. <laughs> Nasser, calling you. Of the R value for your healing. Oh my god! Religion. Nobody calls it the I don't R have value. A religion. All right. And if you keep lying about me, then I don't have any other reason to be here. If your only you have... way of debating is to lie about your opponent, then there's no point in it. Now, no, I don't intend to argue from physics at all. I have a whole other arguments that I can bring up against your model on how I have tested it. Now, if you'd like to hear about those, I can go into those. Well, Arn, I define religion as a set of beliefs, not based on empirical evidence, but based on the doctrine of man. Now, you talked about. Uh, yeah, that's that's exactly what science is. Well, well done. Like, yeah, that's thank you for defining belief versus science and, and understanding, because we don't it, you, we don't just make up shit and say, I believe that I believe that there's got to be something that supports <laughs> that belief. Something Nathan responded to me when I sent that. Nate, I sent that meme uh, to Nathan, and he responded to me. Ha ha ha! You think I care about numbers? Ha ha ha! We probably had half a million people in that group when they deleted it. Just FYI. Yeah, and sure. he's still got Nathan yeah, sure, Thompson O F E G. Like, let, let me show his um, signature that he uses. Still, like, he still has the O F E G founder uh, auto signature on there. <laughs> He's a fucking moron. Can't okay, learn. I don't have that. Why are either. you interrupting me, moderator? I'm sorry, I don't have Why that either. Okay, I so don't have that. I don't do have this. a religion. Well, I love seeing Nathan. Dude, why don't we fix why don't we do... the fault yeah. in your perception we, and second. accept? We do I don't give, have a religion. We do want to stop give, lying can, about me, we, so right. we can continue. What was the argument that you wanted to give uh, Nathan? Wait, I presented a question. Does he have any evidence of the R value? No, I told him I wasn't going to argue from point of physics, that I had other arguments for this. So, when I ask a question, do you have any evidence of the R value, you're just going to Yes, I do have evidence, but it's not that. I don't have evidence from physics, I'm not going to argue from physics. I'm not a physicist. I'm going what to argue from evidence, other points. Arne? What? Are you just going to concede you don't have any evidence? Next topic? No, I have evidence, and what I'm trying to present he talking it, but you about? keep stopping me. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, he, he did the same thing. Oh, I, I love that. I, I love how he's at. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on, look, look, we got to have this. We got to got to capture that one one last time. But I, I want to stop after that to say that, you know, that uh, that is funny, though, that he brings up the point he wants Aaron to, or Aaron to argue from. You know, like he's like, here, yeah. here is your point. Argue for this point. You don't have evidence for this point. I just told you you need to argue from. That's not how debates work. You know, he brings his no. own points, you bring your own points, and you argue between the two about the points. You try to keep it to the points. Fading is to lie about your opponent? Then there's no point in it. Now, no, I don't intend to argue from physics at all. I have a whole other arguments that I can bring up against your model on how I have tested it. 
And if you'd like to hear about those, I can go into those. Well, Arn, I define religion as a set of beliefs, not based on empirical evidence, but based no on... No one cares what you define religion as, because you, you never get anything right. I don't have hey, that Why either. are you interrupting me, moderator? I'm sorry, I don't have that either. Moderator. Okay, I, don't don't have that. I don't, don't have that. I don't have a religion. <laughs> why don't we, why don't we do... Fix the fault in your perception we, on, and accept, we do I give, don't have a religion. We do want to Stop give, lying can, about me, we, so we can continue. What was the argument that you wanted to give Nathan? Wait, I presented a question. Does he have any evidence of the R value? No, I told him I wasn't <laughs> going to argue from point of physics, that I had other arguments for this. So when I ask a question, do you have any evidence of the R value? You're just going to Yes, I do have evidence, but it's not that. I don't have evidence from <laughs> physics. I'm not going to argue from physics. I'm not a physicist. I'm going to argue from evidence, other points. Arne? What? Are you just going to concede you don't have any evidence? Next topic? No, I have evidence, and I'm trying to present it, but you keep stopping me. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah. All right. <laughs> this whole R value thing we is ridiculous anyway, up. because nobody calls it an R value. That is a flatter thing that they've come up with because they saw it once on a, a diagram about refraction. You know, the, it's, there's no such thing as the R value. It's called the radius of the earth. You fucking moron. Yeah, and if they use it in another equation and they call it in the in the equation, it is, you know, it's labeled as R and they define it and say, well, the R value is the radius of the Earth. Yeah. So that if you wanted to change the radius or whatnot, you could check the calculations. But if you went through and said, you know, that that's when they say they can use the terms like R value right here. He's just asking R value to some arbitrary question, expecting R and raw to just know what exactly he's fucking talking about when Arn already said i'm not arguing from a point of physics i got other arguments Opportunity. i think we did yeah. do a question earlier i can't remember i think it was maybe Arn uh mentioned uh, i was interrupting him james he was going to give evidence for the r value yes and again i said i'm not going to argue mathematics or physics i'm going to argue other arguments and i would like to present them but he doesn't want to hear those because they involve his model falsifying his model is not what he's about he's not going to allow that so you can't answer right. my question if you have any evidence for the R value? You know, no, and, and hey, I want to point out something. When we debated in Dallas, he didn't address a single argument I, I made. The entire back and forth was all about his misconceptions of science and how in photographs. You know, that's all he, his whole argument was that. He didn't address my points not one fucking time. It pissed me the fuck off. The evidence for the R value. I'm not going <laughs> to argue from physics or mathematics. Right. I have so other arguments. Value. We can just get rid of that one. Do you want to ask me a question, Arn? Yes. Well, no, I wanted to give you the evidence that I had given you before when you lied about me again by saying that I never tested your model when I did. Oh, so I just look at your map. Look at your, your global, your polar projection map. Look at Australia. Do you see it? I asked for evidence of you went exactly. out and observed a globe. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you that evidence, or I'm trying to give you that evidence. Again. I'm having this trouble. I'm I trying to get you to look at it, and you're trying not to see it. Right. So. All right, let me be very clear. Put your head toward the map. All right, let me be very clear. Look okay. at your map. Let me be very, very clear. I don't have a map. If... There, that you got to get that one too, fight. So he doesn't know what the moon is. He in. doesn't have a map. 36 minutes into the uh, debate, he says that. Well, I got it right here. <clears throat> so you went out, observed a globe. And yeah, you're yeah I'm, about I'm, my... I'm giving you that evidence. You're or I'm trying to give you that evidence. Again. I'm having this trouble. I'm I trying to get you to look at it, and you're trying not to see it. So. All right, let me be very clear. Put your head toward the map. All right, let me be very clear. Look uh, at your no. map. Let me be very, very clear. I don't have a map. If, Moderator. You don't okay. have a map of your map. own right, map. Moderator, one second. One second. Uh, what I want to do is if we just uh, reset. So, But Nathan sent that map. It's not straw manning the map when you presented it as a piece of your evidence. as part of the requirements to have the debate in the first fucking place. That was Here's part map, of your argument. But I'm not saying it's mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, I thought you just wanted ridiculous. a map of what some flat earthers say, what I don't agree with. Let's go back to He's a uh, fucking a moron. topic that we hadn't covered. We're going to have kind of this back and forth. He's strumming in the map. I, the reason I asked for the map is because I'm going to use the map against him. I don't have a map. And, and he can't. Yes, you do. You gave it to me. I asked you to forward okay. me two things. Whoa. The model, which you couldn't cough up because there isn't one. There would be if your shit was real, but it isn't, so you can't get a model. And the other one was a map. 
and you did give me some Instagram thing, which included the map. So you're using a polar projection map. You're not. You, you, so, so you gave me neither a model nor a map. Okay, you meet neither of the criteria. <coughs> Draw I'm Manning out. a model. Oh, you're going to leave? He says, I'm out. James, I, I set up the criteria that he had to produce both. You're going to Yep. Leave. Oh, I'm going to let finish. And a map. And I said that if he failed to produce either one of them, Why are you then he here? would not meet the criteria. Why are you so now here? he's saying that he, I, I was going to allow, here? I was going to allow that I can get him to describe Look, his model. I want to tell you something. At this point, Nathan realizes the only way he can consider this to himself a win is to get Arn Raw to just leave. He'll consider it a win for himself if he yeah, he's trying Arn to trigger to him. Leave. Aaron's not Aaron's not triggered. He just doesn't want to be a part of this bullshit ass <clears throat> discussion when the guy's not there to have an intellectual discussion with him about the shape of the earth. It, it doesn't matter yeah. that he doesn't believe what Aaron says. He just needs to come from a, a point of intellectual honesty, and he just can't. He just doesn't know how to. I don't know if it's if it's intentional or unintentional, but he can't fucking come from a point of intellectual honesty. It's he's mentally incapable of doing so. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron is well known for he doesn't tolerate bad faith actors. So yeah, I'm not surprised that he did leave. Hmm. I don't either. That maybe that's yeah. why me and him I would get left. along. As, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. But using his map, he won't do that. Now he's telling me that he won't even he won't even side with the map he sent me. No, he's got nothing. He meets the he failed the and minimum nothing. criteria. I agreed I would not come on this show unless he produced both. He's produced neither. I'm gone. I have nothing. I have You have nothing. Argument. That's correct. If you have don't have a argument. model that shows predictions that man. you can verify, then you've got butt it's kiss. Nothing. It's a reification policy. Look how triggered you are. You oh, got no, he doesn't no, understand. No, no, no. no, yeah. Go ahead, fight. The reification fallacy is what they do. The reification fallacy right. is when you treat a model as real, right? We're not doing that. They are the ones saying that the model is real and it's wrong. Therefore, the globe Earth isn't a thing. Yeah, We're just, so, so they that, don't understand what a model is. A model is a predictive mathematical description of something. And it might not so, even include all of the relevant data. You know, they're simplified sometimes. So well, that and the, the reification fallacy only applies to abstracts and the hypotheses. And given that the the model is a is a theory is a theory, the highest standard a reification fallacy doesn't apply. Right, and, and here's the thing: it is a reification fallacy for them when you say it like this. You say we take the the reality of the shape of the Earth, right, which is a, a, a sphere. We pull that sphere out into a polar projection map. All right, so that is the model of you know of the earth of the of reality as viewed from above and you know splayed out that is a legit thing they actually have uses for it and whatnot so and and it doesn't always have to be centered on the the pole it can be centered on the south pole it can be centered on the equator it can be centered anywhere it needs to be centered but that's the whole purpose is that is a type of model for the globe earth and what they've done is they've used that model and said this is reality by that definition, they are committing the reification fallacy by using the polar projection model of the globe Earth as a uh, as a description of real reality. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Okay, they don't. Yeah. They the, even the fallacies <laughs> that they push, they don't understand the meanings of. Bullshit hat trick fallacy, um, bottom up fallacy. <laughs> What's the bottom? Has anybody <laughs> yeah. looked that up? What's the bottom up fallacy, guys? I really want to. There's no, there's no such thing. Uh, no, no. Yeah, what we, what, what we, what we found out was that uh, he is taking the bottom up uh, observation that sh yeah, that ships go over the curves, like from the disappear from the bottom up, and he's turning it in. He's basically turning it into a fallacy, but it actually means something else because the actual like bottom up fallacy, what it actually is, is just a logical. Um, it's just a logical error. It was an error in logic, which basically is like, um, uh, I, uh, my banker, my banker, John is nice. Therefore all bankers are nice. That's the bottom up fallacy. Cause you're, you're basically assuming, uh, so it, assuming that, from one's the real. that one's yeah, real. It, it is real, but he's misapplying it, it, it by referring it to the, to, okay. Well, yeah. He's, let's he's, write he's, the, Let's write the Philosophical Society of the World, and let's go ahead and have them <laughs> add that uh, second definition of the bottom-up fallacy to also include the when a, a globe when a globe tard 
uh, looks out and sees the ship disappearing bottom from the bottom up. They're not <laughs> actually observing that. They're just committing a, the globe up fall or the bottom up fallacy. And we know. <laughs> hey, let's go ahead and uh, while we're let's just ahead of time for Nathan so, because we're not going. He's going to call this out eventually. Let's also go ahead and uh, submit the tangent to my feet fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Flat Earthers, we uh, thanks that. to um, Speak Truth, Seek Truth, we all know now of the Neil deGrasse Tyson fallacy the Flat Earthers like to use. Okay, let's get through this. It's about 10 more minutes and then uh, before Aaron just says, fuck you and leaves. But he does say it and it's the greatest shit in the world. I, 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 I made yeah. this arrangement with James. I put Hold minimum on criteria second. on here. Do this we... jackass failed both. <laughs> do we uh, do uh, Nathan? This jackass would failed both. Fair, would you concede that you don't have those things, or or would you I've actually argue him. you do? I don't subscribe to a model. He does. Yep, I, I know. Don't subscribe to a so model thing. either. Uh, I'm not a cartographer. Those are not my arguments. That I have a map. My arguments are the Earth doesn't curve, it doesn't spin, and we can't have gas pressure without a container. Now, Aaron, if you don't want to talk about any of my points, I'm happy to answer any oh, questions. Yeah. You, but have. If you, you have to have a point first. You have to have <laughs> both, both a model and a map. You nope. have neither. You have nothing. You have nothing. That's another audio clip Nathan, right there. Nathan, yeah. You, have, you don't have a map or You need to listen to that. You have yeah. nothing. What do you have, Nathan? You have imagination. That's all you do. You imagine <laughs> this to be flat. That's and you're good at it. You're really good at it. You've convinced yourself that it's flat. Your imagination, your self belief in your imagination is second to none in this world. You should be studied by psychiatrists, psychologists, and fucking anthropologists to see if you're even fucking human. Like are you some offshoot oh, no, of human that we need human. to fucking that we need to start classifying? Like flat earther, homo flat earther, you know. I mean, is that what we're gonna name you? God damn, they're dumb as fuck. Falsification is independent of replacement. Sorry, oh. you have to have something to falsify. You yeah, presented your nothing. Your model that says we spin a thousand forty miles per hour. Yeah, I can prove that using your map. No, you show that, but you're not. You don't spin in miles per hour, you fucking moron. I hate <laughs> it when flat earthers say that. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Right. It's 15 degrees. Oh, shit. Sorry. I, I appear to have fallen into Nathan's head again. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Oh, it's full of sinkholes. It's just empty. Yeah, I know. There's nothing in here. I'm in there Team, with you. You in here? Team. Unfortunately, I can't yeah. find you. There's no light or anything. Here. And it Eventually just smells like depression. <laughs> <laughs> it does smell like depression in here. Uh, extreme depression, loneliness, and uh, spit. You know, like <laughs> spit is be, lubricant. That's what it smells guys, like. Guys, be care beware. Beware the hydrothermal vents of desperation. Yeah, right. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going to, because you, 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 you came here unprepared, you, sir. You can prove we spent using my flat stationary map. Yep. I have paper. Well, cool I have paper to throw we'll around. We rotate. Why don't we, is there anything from the opening that you guys... Fight, uh, Vincent, uh, Vincent Crotwell from the chat does have, does warn us of something, okay? We need to take this shit seriously. If we aren't careful and don't find a light soon, we may step on Nathan Thompson's one half brain cell that he has left over. So be careful not to step on that or you could do permanent brain damage to that guy. Okay, back to the Oh, is that the, the thing that I, I found just now? I was I was hungry. I picked that little thing up and ate it. One of his previous uh, presentations <laughs> of uh, being a Coriolis denier while expressing how he does not know what the fuck Coriolis, Coriolis is. Coriolis denier. And it's amazing. That his, his, his <laughs> he says he's a Coriolis denier without knowing what the fuck Coriolis even is. His <laughs> was so goddamn All right, you're a beast. <laughs> And saying that I was a denialist. Good thing we'll access the internet in this case. Oh fuck! I'm well, sorry. I meant to turn that off. You call yourself a science communicator. Why yeah. don't you communicate for the audience? Communicate to science. Okay, this is the one they thing. They did. The the one thing do. Why are you interrupting me again? Why can't you just exercise? Because you have nothing. Because you have nothing. <laughs> you have nothing, and you know it. That's why he's interrupting you. Because when you're talking, anyone listening is is wasting time. That's why. 
That's why he interrupts uh, you. That's why you should always be interrupted. Pulse control. Maybe drink a little. Does anyone more see my tie fighter? Okay. I, um, Wait for me to board, finish board, board speaking. Board yeah. Yep. I would, that would be great, Aaron. I am so, not going to platform or, this guy who okay, can't show up with any of the minimum here. criteria. Why don't you? Go I was going to defend the Coriolis explanation oh, because this guy clearly doesn't know what the hell it is. Poor After God. debating some supposedly ten thousand people, using citing the Coriolis many many times, and he doesn't know what the fuck it is. No, I'm not platforming this asshole anymore. <laughs> he came with nothing, <laughs> and you were supposed to guarantee that he would have both, or or I'm out. And now he's saying that the thing he sent me, he didn't send me. And he's not going to stand by it. No, fuck him. I just didn't say it was an act. He's got nothing justifiable. He's got nothing testable. We've literally got nothing to talk about. You're the one running away. I still have to talk about second law of thermodynamics and the Coriolis. The fuck you know about that? Now you're interrupting me. (laughs) You know about that. (laughs) That was such a genuine reaction. Hold on. Let's scoot it back there. That was like Uh, you got to appreciate the rhetoric that he has, the response, but it's the I genuine. I am taking that like, for clips as well. Yeah, it's the genuine, like, confusion that Arn Raw thinks when he thinks Nathan Oakley is about to school him on the second law of thermodynamics. He's like, what the fuck no, 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 do you know no, no, about no, that? No, 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 team, team. Thermal, <laughs> thermal dynamics. Thermal, yeah, thermal dynamics. <laughs> he does not know what the fuck Coriolis is. And it's amazing that his, his, his description was so goddamn ignorant yet he was a criticizing me and saying that i was a denialist because he doesn't know what the fuck it is well Aaron, you call yourself a science communicator science why don't you communicate for the audience communicate to science okay this is the one what thing i'll do the one thing i'll do why are you interrupting me again why can't you just exercise okay. the impulse well. control? maybe drink a little more Aaron. okay me. Mm-hmm. wait for me to finish speaking no yeah, that would be talking? great, Aaron. I'm so, not going to platform this guy who can't show up with any of the minimum criteria. Why don't you? I was going to defend the Coriolis explanation oh, because this guy clearly doesn't know what the hell it is. Poor After God. debating some supposedly ten thousand people, using citing the Coriolis many many times, and he doesn't know what the fuck it is. No, I'm not platforming this asshole anymore. <laughs> he came with nothing, and you were supposed to guarantee that he would have both, or or I'm out. And now he's saying that the thing he sent me, he didn't send me. And he's not going to stand by it. No, fuck him. I just didn't say it was an accurate. No, fuck him. He's got nothing to talk about. We've literally got nothing to talk about. You're the one running away. I still have to talk about second law of thermodynamics and the Coriolis. The fuck you know about that? Now you're interrupting me. Fuck you know about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to we're gonna have to definitely have those clips on hand. Those are some amazing audio clips right there. This yeah. whole debate, like when I first listened to this, I was like, oh my god, this is a, some hilarious okay, shit. Hold on one so, I know you're triggered. So I know why, don't, why don't we do this? Apart, why don't all we do he can this? do then, <laughs> all he can do then is one insult second, me gentlemen, and gentlemen, lie about gentlemen, me. Please. And that's it. <laughs> He we, doesn't we, have a model. He doesn't have a map. He doesn't have anything falsifiable. All he can do is the argument from incredulity, where he tries to show how he doesn't understand something so that he <laughs> thinks he can put me on the defensive. No, if he's going to be arguing a scientific position, and this is not a religious position like he lies to make it out to be, it's a scientific position, which means he has to bring a theory that accounts for all of the data better. And that theory had better been able to make predictions that we can verify. He's got nothing. So he's he's literally nothing to talk about. We have nothing to debate about. <laughs> and he couldn't have fucking nailed it better than that. He absolutely Aaron dropped badass. the fucking... Yeah, he dropped the fucking hammer. Do you think Aaron Ra would be my dad? No. no he's, already, he's already my dad. He's already my dad, too. I'll fight you for get him. The fu- get the fuck <laughs> off my inheritance, J.O. Uh, no, that's I'm, mine, man. I Look want this that, quarter that, million subs when he dies. That <laughs> I mean, book from Aaron Raw describes it all. Like, what the fuck is this guy even doing here? Like, yeah. does this guy even understand what the word debate means? We're not here to fucking discuss your feelings. We're here to discuss the empirical <clears throat> evidence that supports or refutes one of two positions. And you didn't bring anything, Nathan. You have nothing. I know. That, that he didn't even present a position for Aaron Raw to attack. That's the thing. That's what he does. It's like his whole fucking shtick is to say, let me get in a debate where I cannot be attacked. How do I do that? Well, first off, don't take a position. Take a position without taking a position. So my position is against your position. So I'm prepared to argue against anything you present. But I choose to have no position so that you cannot attack me. 
and that's yeah. not fair. It's not intellectual honesty right there. That's that's not an intellectually honest position to come from. I'm sorry for well, fuck you, Nathan. I, I have to say I'm fuck officially him. a I'm officially a pantheist. Uh, Aaron Rod joins my pantheon along with Vic DiPetetto <laughs> and Matt Dillat Matt Dillahunty. So. All right. Well, we're almost done because I think Arn Ross about had enough of his fucking horseshit. <laughs> Nathan, just to be sure uh, that I understand. So the two things that Arn had mentioned wanting to discuss, is it – would you say that you do have those things? Uh, to be fair, it is a flat versus globe type of debate. So, like – James, they don't have a model. James trying his hardest to be his moderator. <laughs> Wait, did he just say that we don't have a model? Oh, you do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nathan just said that we don't have a model. Yeah. Yeah, because he doesn't understand it, therefore it doesn't exist. No, he yeah, said he, that we don't have a model team. Yeah, he's saying he that said we, we don't have we... a model because. Oh, no. Yeah. What is he talking about? How can we make predictions well, based on, on what? Well, be, because the he doesn't understand the science behind the model, therefore we don't have the model. <laughs> he doesn't understand what science and math models are. What a moron. We've seen globes. We all have globes. We've I can look up Google Earth right now and show you a globe. Globe. I know you're in fact, Google in, fact Earth, in this discussion, I'd intended Earth. to do that when I was going to show you several giant gaping holes in what the in the map that you sent me, which you now deny that you sent me. So if you give me nothing that we can test, we literally have nothing to say. Right. So we're done. I don't, I don't deny that I sent you it. I don't. I said it's not accurate. I said. Well, then why the fuck did you well, send why it? Why would you send it? God <laughs> damn, Nathan, you moron. Like, what did you think Here's, you here's a map of the flat did earth, it? but it's not an accurate one, so yeah, I'm not going to stand you, by it. What the fuck? When Aaron Ra asked you for a map of the flat earth, why do you think he asked you for that? He wanted to know what you believe the map looked like so he could criticize it and discuss it with you. You're a fucking idiot. God damn. Damn. Here, this one's for you. Ding, add ding, 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 count. Ding, ding, okay. slow pressure One vacuum. Second. Ding, okay. ding, slow pressure <laughs> vacuum. Ding, <laughs> ding. Next question. <laughs> I'm a PhD in bullshit. More, more. Yes, so yes, get that PhD. Yeah. That's it. You have a PhD in bullshit. I can't okay. guarantee. So you're not going to stand by your own basis. It, the I'm basis not, for your position. No, you're not the basis for my position is you got to pay attention. Right, listen, I know you're going to rob me. I know. We've already man. discussed this. The moderator. only basis you have is you it from incredible. He says he's when you get to moderator, it, moderator, you understand how real moderator. science works. Okay, moderator, and you can't can participate I, can in real science either. Excuse me. Can I speak to the moderator, please? Yeah, I'd like moderator. to speak to the moderator. <laughs> moderator. moderator. <laughs> he is literally being Karen right now, isn't he? Yeah. I'd like to speak to the moderator, he please. Is. Do you I know am, who I sorry, am? I'm, I'm, I'm totally putting a Karen wig on his head for that bit. Hold on, I've got one. I, I'm I've planning one. this video in my one. head as we're going. <laughs> I've got one. Hold on. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's going to be I a great video. What, I saw it yesterday. Oh, God damn it. I'm getting ready to... Uh, to move all my stuff or to get a new uh, uh, a new CPU, so I had to move all my pictures and everything to a new folder. But I oh, what did I save it? Maybe in VMix assets. I anyway, swear, I'll play this. Nathan's I'll, I'll the Karen here. Okay. Nathan, you're playing this you one. Game. What's that? Nathan Nathan's the Karen here, demanding to speak to the moderator, and Arn Rye's the retail dude who's had enough of your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Aaron's the manager that comes out. It's like, look, I've dealt with fucking five Karens there already. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to find this. Picture. I've got a perfect Karen wig for him that I have that I downloaded. I just got to find it. Martin DeBrock oh, says you whatever. would think Natalie would look up the Coriolis effect and find out what it is. I've tried explaining to him what it is. It doesn't matter. He won't get it. He doesn't know how to properly All read. right. Hold on. P pardon my... Pardon jam truth was his english teacher Pardon my interruption so <laughs> is that if we why don't we do this we've done this before uh thanks to uh vosh versus sargon we sometimes we switch into okay. like two or three minute intervals and so is that something that i think will help keep this uh orderly this information for whatever field he wants to argue but he doesn't have anything falsifiable on his own he doesn't have anything yep. where we can show that his, <clears throat> his, his doesn't work. 
the moon is made of is the moon is not physical and it's stuck to a firmament that doesn't exist and I don't know anything about it and I don't have a map and I don't have a model and I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about my head is up my own ass but you're triggered because you have a beer in front of you <laughs> <laughs> replay replay that Aaron that Hold was on. amazing Everybody be quiet. We have to give uh, Aaron his due fucking his due time right here. Hold on. I don't I say, I'm okay, out. Yeah, I'm not you're playing this you fucking game. Okay. All right, hold on. P pardon my pardon my interruption. So, uh, is that if we, why we do this, we've done this before. Uh, thanks to uh, Vosh versus Sargon, we sometimes we switch into like two or three minute intervals. And so that's something that I think will help keep this uh orderly. Commanding that I have all of this information for whatever field he wants to argue, but he doesn't have anything falsifiable on his own. He doesn't have anything where we can show that his 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 doesn't work. The moon is made of is the moon is not physical and it's stuck to a firmament that doesn't exist. And I don't know anything about it. And I don't have a map and I don't have a model and I don't know what the fuck I'm <laughs> talking about. My head is up my own ass, but you're triggered because you have a beer in front of you. Oh, yeah. brilliant! Uh, I missed it. I stopped that is also it. Becoming I wanted a clip. to do this right here. Look, look here. You go. Hold on, on. I had something for it. I fucked it up. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, doink. Okay, good. I can't. No, it shouldn't have done doink. It should have done the fucking. Uh... It, it was like a big doink. Fatality. <laughs> oh, Brandon right, no, didn't do all of that. Yeah, fatality, I definitely. I might have pushed the wrong button. <laughs> all right, uh, there we go. Please, just take a deep breath. I wanted you to Fuck since off. you're a, since you're a science communicator. <laughs> yeah, I am. Are, and then and you are not. You, you are a religious me. apologist. I've got a few more memes. Keep interrupting me, all right, I think moderator. We're, we're he just keeps interrupting. Me. Off topic. Okay? He just keeps interrupting. Uh, okay. We're gonna drift off so, more than that. Please, Let's come back. Please. So I was in the middle. of Hold on one second. One second. I'm sorry. Hold it is ma'am. It is ma'am. Guys, I'm so sorry that I have to. I had to yeah. mute you just to try to get that. We can't. Nobody. Nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you. <laughs> I, I just need to go and grab a drink quickly, team. Right. One. One more. Yeah. So. Uh, Nathan. Nathan. And boom. <laughs> He's out. Okay. Well, uh, we will read through the questions we have for Nathan. No, like I sat I said, through it. I sat through it, and it was utter bullshit for an hour. Like I said, it was it was uh, it was good while it lasted. I enjoyed seeing Aaron Raw in that. Um, now go check out the debate if y'all want to see the whole thing uncut, uncut with no chipmunk sounds. If you want to see Aaron's uh, presentation of his argument, he had a pretty good presentation, uh, and you want to see it, you know, just on your at your own pace. Uh, I definitely recommend going there and, and checking it out. It's actually a pretty funny watch. The second half of it, which everything after this point is just him reading super chats that are insulting him and uh, he pushing off several of the super chats. So, uh, but what, you know, what did you think, JL? What did you think about that? that I'm debate? back. I'm back. <sighs> While I, I, when I first saw it, when I first saw the image that he was going to be debating Nathan, I was surprised because. Um, I was pretty certain that R and Raw would know who Nathan Thompson was, just giving you know, his criminal history, the things that he's done. I'm pretty certain it would have gotten to him. But if he didn't, that's fine. Just like, you know, who is this cat? Um, so I was kind of surprised. But then when they got going, uh, it, it was the, I think it was one of the best – I think this was the best opportunity for people to see the disingenuous and bad faith – uh, performance that Nathan gives every single time that he finally mm -hmm. ran into somebody who was not going to take any of his shit, who was not going to give him the time of day if he couldn't even, you know, hold up his end of the bargain when com when coming in. So yeah, this was a perfect expose as to why Nathan is not a debater. He is not a science educator, not a science communicator. He's nothing. He's a piece of shit who wants to yell at people and uh, scream whatever to try and trigger people and try and inflame them so that they'll either run away, they'll scream at him, yell at him, or whatever. So, so yeah, you know, a complete victory. Yeah, a complete and total shit show. And the fact, and you know, just the fact that he will claim victory because Aaron left because Aaron's not going to waste his time on that. The man is very, very busy. Uh, you know, that just goes to show his dising his his disingenuous nature. You know, fuck this dude. He's a piece of shit. We've all known it. We've this is just the perfect. Yeah example of it yeah exactly yeah um, exactly a lot, some people in the chat are saying about 
oh, James is not very good at moderating, blah, blah, blah. You're right, but James doesn't claim to moderate. That's the thing. Yeah, he's James just, just wants whatever's going to happen to happen. I mean, the most he will do is every now and then he'll mute them both and try and be a bit nice. But at least he and mutes then that's both it, people. But... <laughs> at least he mutes both people and it's not just yeah. like a one-sided thing where he's muting certain people to keep them from expressing their viewpoints while allowing other people to say theirs. Like that I wouldn't I wouldn't like, but I mean for the for the most part James is not bad at what he does. I mean it shows it shows doing well, guys. So uh, uh-huh. you can't knock you can't <coughs> knock something that's that's doing well. Um, well, the business but, model is sound. Everybody wants to watch a you know a dumpster fire or a car wreck in slow motion. Um, I do wish that there was a moderator. I mean, James is a great host, and he and he hosts right. well. I mean, he's got a great personality. He puts a an excellent front on it. Um, if he did have a at least an an audible like I agree to disagree when they brought Crafty Keel on and she moderated for one of theirs, which was she did fantastically. All, all James has to do is have someone there piped in audio-wise to moderate the two and be able to control either mutes or whatever. Then it would it would be fantastic. I think that would be light years better than what is currently going on. Mm-hmm. That's just yeah. In team my run away. Oh. team. I think I win. Um, turn I win. I win. Yeah, I win the debate. <laughs> well, no, team's still there. He's just turned sideways, so he's not interacting with light right now. You know, I'm very, very curious. So I've been watching the chat. Well, because I wa- I watched this whole thing like straight through when I when I was at work. It was it was so painful to to go through this because I, I was out on a call. I was like, I might as well keep myself busy. There's somebody in the ch- uh, somebody we got some flat earthers in the chat, and I'm just I just want to pause, pause this. Any of you flat earthers that are out there right now, it, you know, whatever. I want you to answer one freaking question, just one. In July of 2000, or July of 2000, July of this year. Comet Neowise passed the Earth with invisible range. We could see it from the surface of the Earth. Before the comet even got into visible range, we were able to make predictions as to when it would be visible, who, where it would be visible, and it, you know, down to the arc second, what times it would be visible okay. to who. Okay, it, We knew its path of totality as it was passing. All of those predictions were based upon the mathematics that we know about the globe model. Okay, about the about the geos the geospherical model. Now, if we take the any flat model, no, no matter what flat model it is, and we apply those to it, those predictions do not come true. Answer me this question: Why doesn't that happen? Explain that to me. That's it. Magic. Magic. Imagination. imagination. Yeah, imagination. And if you say God, you have an open invitation to come on my channel. You bring God, I'll bring reality, and we'll do our little dance. Yeah, All not right. a fan of the Magic Sky Daddy. Not a fan right. of the Magic Sky Daddy and the stupidity we see that belief in him propagates. Yeah. What do you guys think? Is it about time for uh, Super Chats? I, I think it is, yeah. Okay, now my voice is dying and almost dead, but I don't give a fuck. We're going to have a good time tonight like we always do. I well, if you uh, if it's okay, gentlemen, uh, <laughs> I know you're about to jump to Super Chats and everything. Um and uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to just jump in there, but um, I got to bounce to go take care of something. So uh, no, I think it's a perfect not opportunity. You must stay. <laughs> Dr. not allowed to leave. I do have, I do have a show myself, and we had, we got to break down the next, uh, the, uh, this week's script. So I got to do that with the boys over in Weekend Horror. So, um, <laughs> but right. I, but I pushed it back. I pushed it back so I could be here the whole time. Aaron was here and finished looking at this thing. Um, but uh, yeah, I got to jump over and take care of that. So, uh, dude, guys, this has been awesome. Thank you so much for having me on. You kind of fulfilled a, a little bucket list thing. I wanted to meet Aaron Raw, you know, just chat with him for a second. That was you just made my you made my fucking month, team. This was you know, amazing. I'm gonna Thank be you. honest. I, I figured you would enjoy and appreciate uh, that experience. So that's why I was like, you know, I'm just gonna invite him. Uh, Thirty other people said they were busy. So, uh, <laughs> well, I appreciate being 31st on that list. <laughs> We were 37th, but 31st through 36th were like not into this stuff. So, uh, but yeah, 31st, we'll, we call you top 50. Okay. Top 50. Uh, there's a <laughs> seven and a half billion people in the world. Top 50 is great. Really good numbers. This, uh, I'll, I'll take it. That's high. That's high praise. That is high praise. <laughs> So, well, uh, but, uh, take care, bud. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. You have a great one. Love you guys. Everybody in the chat. You all, y'all were Say amazing. That, hilarious. See you, uh, fight team. You guys be safe, okay? We'll see ya. Later, man. Later. Uh
Before you carry on, I want to say thank you to the people in the chat that have noticed that I've lost weight. That makes me very happy. Um, and it's only I, because I was saying... Jail Warren was here. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what I'm, I, I, this is just water. I, I'm just drinking water because I'm doing a, it's not really a diet, but it's um, like a fasting type thing. You fast for 18, hour, 18 hours, then you pop hey, six fine, hour window fine, to fine, eat. Fine. I'm going to let you tell people about that while I get the camera set up for what I need to do. Okay. Okay. Cause it's going to, it's going to take me a second, but I'll be right back. Yeah. So, so I'm doing a fasting um, thing. Uh, so you can eat for 18 at eh, sleep. Sorry. You, Fast for 18 hours, you can just drink water um, and then you can eat whatever you want for six hours. There's kind of no limitations on what you can eat, uh, but it's going to help me lose weight along with my being a pescatarian. So I'm not going to be fighting tight shirt for so for, for much longer. The, the shirts are getting looser and looser. <laughs> uh, no, it's not CGI, John Rapp. And, and they're going to call you, you a John team Rapp, skeptic. Uh, they're going to call you a team skeptic clone. Yeah. <laughs> so just water in here. You know, um, if if you have more than fifty calories, then you end up breaking your fast. So water's fine. Yeah, it's safe. It's fine. Just means that I get like six hours of send your body into like fat burning mode and stuff. Uh, I don't want to be fat, <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't do a lot of exercise, so I need to do some. <laughs> uh, Kirsten says there's less of me to love oh, there'll always be plenty of FTFE don't worry <laughs> water and coffee yeah I'm allowed to have coffee but I, I like my latte so I'm having to change to um, just having normal coffees with like maybe a tiny splash of milk because I think there's about 10 calories and about 20 mils of milk so if I have two two coffees I'm allowed like a bit of milk in each of them during the fast as long as I don't go over 50 calories during that 18 hours you know and I sleep for 10 of that so you know and then if it'd be fine i'm gonna i'm enjoying it I, I want to lose weight and my wife's been doing it she's lost a lot of weight so uh air files i'm literally just one pound overweight and i feel like a pig <laughs> uh yeah i'm a lot more than one pound overweight um <clears throat> i'm a good few stone overweight still and i need to lose lose more Dan Robinson says, coffee is nasty, tea is king. <clears throat> I prefer my coffee to my tea. If I do drink tea, it's Earl Grey. So, <clears throat> anyway, Nathan Thompson got absolutely ruined there. I really enjoyed Aaron Ra. Absolutely fucking destroying him. It was it was so much fun to watch. <sighs> Mark says, am I eating low carb during my eating period? Not really. I'm trying to kind of just watch what I am eating during that, but there isn't really, really any just um, restrictions during that six hour eating period. <clears throat> um, target weight would be about 14 stone. So I need to lose about three stone more. I ain't worried about retaining that water. Nah. <clears throat> um, it stops me feeling hungry. So it's good enough. Oh. Uh, so there, that, that's my diet. That's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Interesting, huh? Uh, I am looking forward to getting out episode 50 of Flurse of Idiots for you guys. Biggest crossover ever. Me, Team Skeptic, Simon Dan, Conspiracy Cats, Brainy Beaver, um, uh, Mr. Sensible, MC Toon, and the Creaky Blinder in one video. Mic check. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you inside Nathan Thompson's okay. head. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I just had to restart uh, voice meter so I could, or voice, uh, voice mod. Hold on, let me turn the noise effects off of my microphone so it doesn't clip. <clears throat> let me ask a question for everybody in the chat. Are you guys fucking ready? Born I said, ready. are you motherfuckers ready? Fight? We are born ready, motherfucker. Oh my god. You ain't lying, man. Woo! Alright, we're getting ready to get started, guys. I just gotta get make sure my camera is <coughs> We're doing gonna have um Yeah, I'm just getting an ambulance on, on standby for when team passes out from heat exhaustion. So everybody can see me alright, yeah. Okay, good deal. So yeah, ah, we're gonna no jump one wants around. to we're see you. Good. 
All right, good deal. Everybody says they're ready, kind of, sort of, but let me get the Super Chats up. Uh, one second, let me get Super Chats up and then so I can read them. And also, I want to say, I put it in the chat I don't, or in the description. I don't know if anybody saw it or not, but I put in the description uh, that I'm going to be kind of running like a, uh, a donation fundraiser for myself to upgrade my computer a little bit more so I can handle these transitions and stuff that you guys are coming to love. Uh, so I can so I can handle them, but uh, it's not necessary. Don't feel obligated. But if you do want to support, there is a link in there to my PayPal. And thank you very much. I'll check to see if anybody did that by the end. But here we go. I think let me get the music going. Can you hear it? Yes, we do. It's quite loud. Is it okay? Hold on. All right, there it is. Right there. Oh. One of them is the right one. Hold on. It's this one right here. Okay. Now we're ready. Fight, tell me if my mic starts cutting out or not, but I don't give a fuck. We're about we'll to do. do this. I'm gonna put it away from me so that maybe I don't cut it out. Here we go. Yeah. It's NASA, baby. NASA all day long. NASA right here. Fuck you, Nathan Thompson. That's why I wear that shit. All right, let me see. All right, we got Jackalope Herdmaster for $5. He says, I saw, uh-oh, zoomed in too much. I saw Natalie bragging in the live chat that Aaron had rage quit. What he doesn't understand is that the credentials that Aaron required. Woo, yeah, he's a dumbass. He don't get that shit. And Aaron Raw, he set it up front. He should've just done it. Nathan, if you had any bit of intellectual honesty uh, in your Team, you're not on camera. Oh my god, god. Ah! Alright, let me get back to the super chat. <laughs> Fail! Alright, there we go. Alright. Jackalope Herdmaster for $5! had set in place rendering the debate null and void. Natalie, you cannot claim rage quit to a debate that never existed, you fucking idiot. Ding. Woo! Glass monster for two Canadian dollars. Team Skeptic, please get me on with Aaron Aaron Ra. Maybe next time, Glass Monster. You're a good dude, man. I appreciate you and everything you do for the channel, but aside from all that, you're a great fucking person, Glass Monster, and I appreciate you being the friend that you are to me. NANA for $6.60. I don't super chat Robin. Hail Satan. Well, guess what, NANA? You just did, buddy. You just chatted Robin. You don't know it. I don't accept it. But it is fucking reality. Woo! Hell yeah. The plot hole for $5. Excuse me, moderator. U belt space is available. FTFE looking good. Team, hello. Cheers. Sub to the thank plot you, thank hole. You. Those guys are great people over there. Johnny O's over there. Jay Warren, who was up there with us today. Yeah, he, he goes over there all the time. PhD Tony, Irish Demon. Just go check them out. They're great people. Love you, bro. Gar Game Gold for $5. Hey, Aaron. Glad to see you taking on the Flat Earthers. You were one of the first YouTube skeptics I ever subscribed to. Keep up the good work because you rock. You damn right he does. 
And hey, I agree with you. Warren Rob was one of my first subscriptions as well. Awesome channel to watch. A new perspective on stupidity. Check him out. Go check him out. Glass Monster for five Canadian dollars. R and Raw 2024. I would vote. He's going up against Team Skeptic 2024, so he's not gonna win. Oh no, baby. Oh no. He's not gonna win. He's not gonna win against Team Skeptic! Yeah! Woo! New member, Dark Steve 84 Man, it's great to have you along. I feel awesome that you're a part of this fucking shit I do on here. I couldn't do it without each and every one of you guys. Especially you, Dark Steve, especially you. Thank you, thank you so much. David Oliver for my, for five pounds, my man. I see you always fucking uh, super chatting, bro. I appreciate you so much. I really, really do. Minecraft has built the whole of Antarctica continent and was surprised at how many bases, towns, and villas research station there is there. It's amazing that there are actually humans there that can do that smart humans. Not Nathan Thompson's, not goddamn fucking idiots. People who, who are doing things to better us, learning about cosmological shit. Shit me and you would never fucking be able to do. They're trying to advance us and this jackass is holding us back? Fuck that. Fuck you, Nathan. Woo! Let's see. Irish Demon for $2.99 Aussie Dollars. Aaron Raw think about making Nathan p uh, poor. Will donate. Yes, I. If, if you've got a few extra dollars looking for somebody to support, maybe you used to support Nathan Thompson. You don't want to support that jackass anymore. Go put that money over there with Aaron Raw. Because my man does some really good shit for the fucking atheist community and he helps people break away from that religious bullshit. Thank you, Irish Demon. Johnny Moore for four pounds for hopefully getting rid of Pence. Get rid of that goddamn young earth creationist. Hello, I'm inside Mike Pence's brain. Where is the brain cells that are supposed to be there for the vice president? We'll never know. We'll never know. He thinks the Earth's only 6,000 years old. Are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking moron. Huh. <coughs> <Philo coughs> Woo! I love it. Philosopher King Gaming. For five dollars, Aaron, thank you for destroying Hoven. That and your destruction of Jism are some of my favorite shows to listen to. Those and PhD Tony, you know. Yes, I love watching both of them, PhD Tony and Aaron Raw. Both are well de deserving of, of a subscription. Excuse me. NA NA for six dollars and sixty six cents. Woo! Sub to J.L. Warren. Weekend whore. Absolutely. I support J.L. Warren. Man, I know that guy in real life. Didn't know him before Team Skeptic, but I know him now. And he's somebody I fucking care about and love as a brother. I support him. And I wouldn't just tell you to go subscribe just because I love that guy. I'd tell you to go do that if I, if I believed in his stuff. And he makes great content. Go subscribe. Weekend whore. Thank you, NANA. God's Auditor for $2. Aaron established dominance and is now Geo's Alpha. Woo! You're damn right he is. Love it. Jet Guitars, who we're gonna name Jet Bass just because. For $5 for the brain surgery needed for Aaron's dumb but lovable dog. I know, I love dogs. And when, as I call my dog, I'm like, why are you acting retarded all the time? 
But I love my dog, man. He's amazing. Syed Aman for $4.99. Natalie was so out of his depth in that debate. Aaron, did you get a chance? Did you get a sense that Natalie was panicking because you were breaking his script? He panicked for the same reason he panicked when he was with me. I'm not gonna have any of that bullshit. You either come with some fucking evidence or move the fuck on. You ain't got time for your feelings or your your imaginary world and your imaginary God. Yeah, good for all of you and your imaginary fucking problems, but we deal with reality here. And the reality is that the earth is not flat, it's a goddamn globe! Woo! <coughs> all right, for five Canadian dollars from Marty Mad Scientist. Woo! -hoo! Yeah! <laughs> Voices going. Build a superhero franchise. Start a team to re uh, to rescue and defend the defenseless from morons. We could have a, a bat signal video link. We got one. When Team Skeptic goes live, boom, that's the bat signal. Everybody come on. It's stupid. We gotta fight stupid. That's what we do around Stupidity here. Stupidity is not a right, bitches. It is not. The Athens 619, another wonderful, wonderful person that I had the pleasure of meeting in real life. Rip to Alex Trebek. My heart goes out to you, Al. You finally got him. Yep, cancer got him. It's unfortunate. Alex Trebek was a part of my childhood growing up. And what a fucking way to live. What a way to what a what a person to watch on TV when you didn't have any much to do and your parents work full-time jobs all the time. You get to go on what was it Jeopardy, I think, right? It was Jeopardy that he was on and you fuck go on there and watch him and learn some shit. The first time I ever said, oh, I need to know all this information. Irish Demon for 299 Aussie! R and Raw isn't just heavy metal. He's Osmium. Some powerful shit right there. Skydiver Tanner for $5. As I read these super chats, be sure to pause, screen capture, and meme me. Yeah. We don't need more you pictures of Team Skeptic on the internet. What are you guys doing? Get those memes. Bring those memes. I love them. And yes, I've been, I moved all my pictures and memes into a meme folder. So when I update my computer, I'll be able to scroll them like Fight the Tie Shirt does. Oh, hold on, I just made it move. Dark Steve 84, my new member, also with a $5 Aussie super chat. Hashtag Team Pros, it too. Sorry, bro. But I love you. Love you too, man. You're a great fucking person, uh, Dark Steve. Thank you so much for that. It's with your support that I'm able to be the jackass that everybody loves me to be. I mean, that's a strong Tony. word, you know. <laughs> oh, <God. coughs> PhD Tony for five Aussie dollars. Orange. MDD stands for Modern Day Dumpster Fires. There's no effort to exchange ideas in good faith. Insert shameless plug for agree to disagree here. Oh, I'm glad y'all can't hear me sing in real life because I suck. I love you, PhD. Well, I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a new member. Welcome to Team Skeptic! God damn it! Love this shit! Who was that? Who was that? Huge arse! Huge arse! My main man! Woo! Guys don't know how hype I'm getting. Keep going guys, you've nearly killed him. For $2.99 Aussie! Question for Aaron Ra, favorite Irish stout. Hey, we're gonna have to get him back to ask that question there, Irish Demon. Thank you so much, bro. You're a good dude, man. I know what you're doing out there behind the scenes, fighting for some shit not everybody will fight for. You're a good dude, my man. 
for five dollars. Thomas the Dark Knight Marshall. When I buy a shirt, will it come with an autograph sticker? Send me your sticker. I'll, I'll sign it and send it back. I don't give a shit. Thank you so much, Thomas. Dice 2K. I don't even know if I've ever seen your name. That means it's your first time to come around for five dollars. If Nathan was to go out in space, he would die because to prove he wasn't an elaborate movie set, he would walk out into, into space with no suit because he's a fucking idiot. Hold on, I'm getting there, getting there, getting there. He's a fucking idiot. Boom! Got him, coach. Moron. Unirock's vape pen. Somebody donate a dollar to Unirock so we can go to 7-Eleven and buy his dumb ass some vape juice. I spoke to R and Raw about William Shatner today. R and Raw's a good dude, man. I don't even, I've, I've met him one time, but last minute he just decided to come on here and fucking have a show with us. What a fucking cool ass dude. Thank you, Aaron. I hope you're listening, man. Michael Haxon for five Canadian dollars. Does Nathan believe the moon is a projection? He don't believe shit. That's his fucking problem. He doesn't have a fucking backbone. He doesn't have anything <clears throat> he can stand behind. This completely confused me in the debate. More than the other BS he said. Yeah, for him to confuse you more is an actual accomplishment. New member! Woo! OT, OTT Kaji! Welcome to the club, bro! You're now part of the fucking best goddamn channel on YouTube! Wow, second best. I believe that. Yeah, this Little is second Minsky best. Betty Page, aka Tank Girl Junkie, for two pounds! Crunk Team Skeptic, you say? Hell yeah! Yes, please! Just for you, Tank Girl. Just for you. I love you, man. You're fucking awesome. David Oliver for five pounds. Nathan Oakley is an arbiter of disinformation. Are oh, you giving him way too much credit? That dude's a dipshit and a jackass. And he got called out for it by Darn Raw. David Oliver for five pounds. Oh, wait. Yep. Read that one already. Cillian Holland for five pounds. Five euros. Aaron, could you ever debate Natalie on evolution just for giggles? No. Aaron, listen. Your boy team's speaking to you, Aaron. Don't do it. Don't if do you it. thought Flat Earth was bad, Don't he, do it. he didn't have anything at all. I'm a moron. I'm, listen closely. Do not debate him on evolution. You will burst the blood vessel. Don't do it, Aaron! Don't do it, Aaron! Don't do it! <laughs> all right, all right. The Dell for two dollars or two pounds and fifty pence. I could be very drunk and still win against Nathan. You could be asleep and beat Nathan. He's, he could be in a fucking coma and beat Nathan. The guy's the dumbest fucking slug walking across this fucking earth. He steals the oxygen from me, you, and our kids. Fuck that. Jerry Menifee for five dollars. FTFE. Team Skeptic, you rock! Woo! Always in the earth is a globe. Yes, we know, Jerry. We know. Robert Williams for four ninety nine. Strange that you talk about imaginary things as measuring the mass of Natalie's brain is why a num imaginary numbers needed to be existed. Invented. Yeah, baby. Woo! His brain, the number of brain cells he has, is a number on the complex number line. What a moron! Jane Doe for $10. Stupid. 
Oh, Jane Doe, it's been so long. You've been one of the biggest supporters of this channel for so long. Thank you so much. You don't know how much that means to me. It truly does. Why does not providing evidence of an R destroy the globe model? But they don't need to have a map or model for their full bullshit beliefs? Damn right. They want us to have a model. They don't want to have one. What the fuck is that? Fuck out here. Fuck you, Nathan. Fuck you, Flat Earthers. You know why? Because you're all a bunch of fucking idiots. Here, here, here's another one. I'm a PhD in bullshit. Oh my God, it stopped my music. No. We don't <laughs> stop music around here. We fix that no. problem for the next time. No. Woo. <coughs> We're just getting started, baby. We're just getting started. You must have thought I'm fucking crazy if you think I'm not. What's that? That's a goddamn nothing new member? Are you fucking kidding me? Who is that? Jerry! Jerry, you became a new member. You rock, man. Thank you so much. You don't know how happy it's making me right now, guys. David Oliver for five pounds. Have you noticed that Oakley says R? Flat Earther says R. Oakley says black. Black Swan. Flurfers say Black Swan. Oakley says gas pressure. Flurfers say gas pressure. If you hadn't noticed by now, they copy each other. It's the same argument. They're fucking stupid. That's the problem. Sparky N J for ten fucking. Dollars! Yes! I would go into my evidence for electrical resistance if you ask me. R is used for resistance in electrical situations and equations. You guys should do that. But start explaining a different R term. I will. I'll explain that. Next time you ask me for a value of R, I'll say, what's the value of V? Oh, and don't forget <laughs> to, get to give me I as well. Cause I need both of those to get the R value, you moron! You stupid. Woo! Team Skeptic loves you! I really do, guys. Oh my god! Another we kind of like you as well. Member. Roby, welcome to the best goddamn channel on the face of the fucking planet. Dark Steve, 84 for five Canadian Aussie dollars. Yeah, I ain't trying to give Canadians no credit tonight. None. All the Aussies, I love you guys. Life is amazing. Thank you, evolution. The earth is not flat. Praise mayonnaise. I can't believe I said that. Is real. <laughs> Sorry. Praise the flying spaghetti monster. You might as well believe in him if you're gonna believe in God. Might as well, right? Raven Zero for two dollars. Nathan is the embodiment of human stupidity. Are you kidding me? Next to stupid in the fucking dictionary is a picture of Nathan's non-existent flat earth group. And underneath that it says minus 140 stupid, thousand stupid. Oh fuck. Another new member. Another new member. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? John McGee! <laughs> you rock, my friend. You rock. Guys, you are seeing a midlife crisis in progress right now. Man, fuck. This that. is amazing. I'm having a blast! <laughs> Woo! Can nobody stop me? No! Never! Not even a hoarse voice! Ah! No! Raven Zero! I re already said that and it was right! Peter Miss Prime for five Aussie dollars! Orange should have a pair of pixelated sunglasses and a doobie! What? What? Is that another one? 
Holy shit. It sure as fuck is. Holy shit. Holy smalls! It's now a new member! Woo! God damn it! Let's see. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta go find where it just jumped from. Hold on. Hold your breath, I'm coming. NA NA for six dollars and sixty-six cents. FTFE water is vodka or tequila. Hail Satan. Hail uh, Satan. <laughs> sorry, just water. David Oliver for five pounds. Arr, Earl Grey, the tea is disgusting. God damn right. Wait. Do you guys see this? Y'all see it? It won't stop flashing and it's all because of y'all. Thank you so much. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? That's goddamn Peter Miss Prime! One of my top 1,000 Aussies! Oh my god, Peter Miss. Thank you! Woo! Go NASA! Alright, here we go. Dark Steve 84 for five Aussie dollars. My fails are smarter than flurfs. Flurfs are dumb. They're stupid. You know what they are? You guys know this by now. They're all a bunch of goddamn idiots. Woo! Got a lot still left, guys. Grab on to the nearest fucking door handle, window handle. Two by four! You're gonna fucking need it on this ride! Dib Dib for five dollars! My neighbors are so awesome! And they are! They're real are cool people. Got a lot of love in them. For them, they watch out for me, I watch out for them. Oh no! Oh no! NA NA! For sixty-six dollars and sixty cents, you fucking <laughs> rock, my friend. You fucking you rock, team. man. Team skeptic, maybe this will help you with your outro. It needs work, but hell, Satan, it ain't fucking helping, brother. It ain't fucking helping. Fuck it. I don't care that it fails. I love you guys, man. You guys are fucking awesome. Dark Steve. For five Aussie dollars! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! David Oliver for five pounds! Team Skeptic is inside of Tron! Oh man! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That I love you. God, if y'all heard me you're sing, kind of okay. if y'all heard me sing, you'd be laughing your dick off. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm screaming in the mic. Christ puncher for two dollars. Christ puncher. Knock him out. Team Skeptic's going to sleep good tonight. You damn right I, I slept good the other night when I did this. This feels good. Woo! This feels good. Well, it's all the ready. exercise you need, isn't it? Yes. No member! No member! No member again! Darwin's Finches! Oh man, thank you so much, Darwin's Finches. You're so awesome. John McGee for $20. It's a super chat sticker that says, thanks for being you. No, nah, man, thank you. Thank you. I never thought any of you guys would want to fucking ever find any enjoyment in a person like me. That's how I always grew up thinking I was, I was nobody and you guys make me feel better than that.
NA NA for two dollars. Team skeptic to FTFT, bud. You're damn right. That motherfucker's a good content creator. I'm proud to be second place. I wear that badge with honor and still always fight for the top spot because there's no. I gotta keep him on his toes too. Don't cry, team. We do love you. I promise. We do love you. I'm and I wouldn't be half as good a current content creator I am if it wasn't being friends with you. I'm not sad, guys. I want you to know that I'm not sad. This is happiness. This is the happiest I've been in a long time in my life. It's all thank you to you guys out there. Like Raven Zero for two dollars. Rip and tear <laughs> until it's done. You know it. We don't stop. <laughs> I love this shit, man. John McGee for five dollars says five bucks more. Thank you. That goes towards half of my next meat tube. Cause you gotta eat a lot of meat tubes to be a team skeptic supporter. You know what I mean? You do because you've been eating the meat tubes. I know y'all have. That's why y'all never left me? Because you're stuck on meat tubes. Oh, sorry. My nose is running now. GR for $5 says you do a pretty good job shouting. Not so good as some guys I know, but the US Marine Corps has some pretty solid shouters. Thanks for the ride, Navy. Hoorah! 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 Thank you, GR. Let's never forget that the Marines need us, Navy boys. You need me. You need me in your right life. Now, Right now, team is sweating like a marine in a math test. <laughs> All right, let me get to the next one. James Persall for two ninety nine says, "Y'all guys are awesome. Keep up the good fight. We'll do that till the day I die, brother." No, you are fucking awesome. <laughs> Irish, Irish demon for two ninety nine Aussie says nice hat bud guess what guys irish demon gave me this hat it's my favorite fucking shit in the world thank you thank you for everything hashtag you've done birds aren't me, rocket man. powered mate birds aren't rocket powered mate jackalope herdmaster for two dollars let's see how long team skeptic can keep this going I've already told you. He's been you, sending me messages. I'm a goddamn energizer bunny. I'm not going to stop. He's been, <laughs> He's been sending me messages saying, get them to stop sending super chats. I'm about to pass out. No. Don't. I'm not going to pass out. Don't. No, no. Don't, don't, don't do it for that reason because I'm not passing out. <laughs> I'm going hard in the paint, baby. Dark Steve 84 for five Aussie dollars. Oh shit! Oh shit! I didn't even see this! He says, Sorry, bro! Energizer Bunny! LOL! Here you go! I'm the Energizer Bunny! I'm the Energizer Bunny! I ain't stopping! Shit's fun to me! God damn! I hope you guys like this shit, man. Because I don't care. I don't care. I love it. Jessica G, my love, my darling, my number one troll. Keep yelling. Your loss of voice is her happiness. I love you, Jessica. Nobody trolls me like you do, babe. Peter Miss Prop for five Aussie dollars. I hope this is the new format for your videos moving forward. Hell no! You wanna kill me? You guys are trying to kill me, oh my god. Dib Dib for five dollars. Fight the tight shirt. He knows what the deal is. Oh no, Doster Tat for 4 dollars says you rock. Are you fucking kidding me? I do rock. But I only rock because you guys support me and y'all are my foundation. And that makes the person that rocks, you're that person's rock. 
and you look in the mirror in the morning, I want you to remember that, that everything I have is built on the foundation of you. And you guys are beautiful. John Lovell for $5, the best show. That's all I want to be. I just want to be the best ever. Ever! Woo! Alien X Gaming for five dollars. If I wanted to watch a hooker cry, <laughs> I wouldn't pay her. But for now, here's a little money. I'll be your hooker, alien. We're already the same race. Might as well get it on for money, right? Jackalope Herdmaster for two dollars. Team is slowing down. Let's finish him. You fucking out of your mind? I'm not slowing down. We haven't even reached my second wind yet. Where's my, where's my Dr. Pepper? You know what time it is? <laughs> Power up! Let's go! All right. Mission Apparition Para. For two dollars, two pounds. Love you, team, and FTFE, Bristol, UK, for the win. Woo! That's right, Gert Lush, mates, Gert Lush. Five dollars from Holy Smalls. You aren't the only one who remembers the meet too. Dib Dib remembers it too. He messaged me about it. <coughs> also, Holy Smalls knows. We're growing in numbers, guys. Don't be afraid to come out and say that that you saw a meat tube in your life and that quite possibly you ate meat from that tube. I've said it, and I'm okay, I think. Jerry Mi- Oh, hold on. Jerry Minnelly for a $2 super sticker. Yes! Woo! Thank you, baby! Dark Steve. 84 for five Aussie dollars. Team could be president, but is more suitable as Jesus to PhD Tony as God. LOL. Wait, so you are Tony's son and also Tony? I'm confused. Can I get an amen? Amen, Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Yeah, right. Amen. Thank you, Dark Steve. N A N A, another one, man. Oh my God! Stop it, N A N A. Stop, man. Thank you. Two dollars. Says team, don't pass out. I ain't going to, bro. I'm not gonna pass out. G R for five dollars. Says they have weed that comes in patch form now. You dig? Fuck what? When? Really? Where? And how do I get some? How much can I attach my body in one go? PhD Tony for five Aussie dollars. One of my main men, Tony. You have the wool cap and the crying into the camera right, but this is the worst Blair Witch recreation ever. That's not what I ever go for. I just read chats and where it takes me, it takes me. Tony, I'm so glad you're a part of my life, man. I really am. Ropey for $2. And this is going to go even further and beyond. Ha! Thank you, Roby. Five dollars for Dib Dib. I told you, I told you, the meat tubes were real. Woo! I know what I'm talking about. We're getting there, guys. Yes, we are. OPT lawyer who's another great dude. Got the opportunity to really get a chance to meet him and hang out with him. OPT, man, that was fucking awesome. I learned, I, I got so much to learn from you. I can't wait. You can come on my channel anytime. But OPT Lawyer, for $5, my cat is staring at my monitor, watching this with me. Meow, meow, kitty cat. Here, let me give her something to really get down to. Meow, kitty cat. 
N-A, N-A, for two dollars. Me too? Yeah, it's called a sausage. You got a point, but you're missing the point as well. N-A, N-A, let me give you some of my Me Too, brother. Jackalope Herdmaster for two dollars. Stop five dollar super chats. Send multiples of two dollars instead. Jokes on you. Three two dollar super chats cost you six dollars, not five, asshole. I love you, Jackalope. And we're done. We're done. Woo! <laughs> Took so long I was captured and turned into a robot. Holy smokes! For two dollars can't let it stop! Sorry in our radios! Oh my god. Done! Whew. You need to turn your speech lifter off. What? You've got the microphone sound on. Oh, sorry guys. All right, let me fix this too. Uh, you need oh to turn the zooming off. Nah, fuck it, it's staying on. Good, we nearly oh, killed gosh. him, guys. We nearly killed him. Woo! No, nah, hell no, y'all can't kill me. Y'all don't, don't understand that. I'm, I'm unkillable. This is normal for me. I get down like this. The zoom does look really weird on my face, though. All I need to do is snap my fingers and you will die. All right, you guys have a good time. Do you guys enjoy that? That was so much. I, I yes. love what I do, guys. I love this shit. Like, I don't know. I, I just don't know how to express it more to you that I just love doing this. I, th there's no way for me to express it more than the way I just did. And like, I, I just now I just want to go bathe in water for one thing, and not Daniel Pratt's water <laughs> eater water. Jack, Is it your, 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 so your yearly shower. We will get you one day. You will. You win this time. Bullshit, Jackalope. Bring it on. Bring it on. Anytime, anywhere, any place. I'll duel the entire chat. I'll, I'll do a two-hour goddamn live stream of nothing but me fucking reading super chats like that. You know, I still can't find my Dr. <laughs> Pepper from the other day with that through. I just can't find it. Well, you know that when you hit 40K, you're going to have to do a 40-hour stream, and it needs to be all that. Martin H. says, Team Skeptic, when are you going to start reading the Super Chats? <laughs> you don't. Yeah, uh, sorry, I missed it. I just got here. I missed it all. Can you start again? Yeah, right. No, but you know, I, you, I couldn't replicate that. I could not replicate that. That was 100%. Just letting emotions drive. That's why I like, I forget, I'm not, if I start tearing up, it's not because I'm sad. It's just because I'm allowing my emotions to overtake me and push me and say what I say. You know, none of this shit's planned or anything like that. It just comes out the way it comes out. And I just, I don't know. I hope you guys like it because I really enjoy doing it that way. Even though I'm burning calories it's and a lot sweating fun. like a fucking goddamn pig. God, you don't need to burn any calories. You fucking disappear. Bullshit! I've been eating more. You know that. You know that set from. You know that scene from Ant Man where you just start shrinking like over and over. That, that's you if you lose any weight. You're oh, just gonna okay. enter the quantum realm. Let me. Uh, let me go over and check my stream labs real quick and make sure I didn't get a, a super chat in. I mean a, a donation in over there because I put that thing. I put it in the uh, in the chat. We fucking love it from Aeroflies. Thank you. I'm glad you do, man. P, P, <coughs> excuse me, Nishan says, uh, oh shit, on this. I will have some extra income after I move, uh, gonna put making Team Skeptic pass out into next month's budget. <laughs> Good <laughs> fucking luck. Now, uh, I do want to say the other day, I think I got a, a donation from Robert Williams. Let me make sure it was him. Uh, Robert, I'm sorry. It, it might have been you. I, I may have. I may not see the donation right now. 
uh, and what I'm looking at. But thank you so much. I'm pretty sure it was you, Robert Williams, that donated $5 through the Streamlabs link. Thank you so much. <clears throat> my voice is going. My voice is going, but I don't need my voice to do that. Fuck that. Let's have a good fucking time with this shit. Fight, is there anything else you want to add? I had fun, <laughs> um, and it was awesome to, to meet Aaron. Uh, Nathan getting destroyed is is always fun. Always fun. There will be something on my channel tomorrow. I'm not sure it's going to be a debate or not because, um, yeah, so Kyle Adams heard me saying that I was going to ruin him and decided not to debate me. So I'm trying to find someone. If not, we'll just uh, go over some stupid and have, have a laugh on my channel tomorrow. But yeah, come back to my channel tomorrow um, and make sure you also at 8 p.m. UK time come to Science or Satire for another episode of that. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Dark Steve 84 says, your voice is out. And then Jerry says, uh, T Team Skeptic and FTFE, this content is what brings me here. Love this. Thank you so much. And you guys So we brought you to the dark side, have we? It's fun here. We have cookies. Yes, we do. Oh, shit. <laughs> he failed. Shit. Worst. Worst Darth Vader ever. Yes, I am the worst Darth Vader ever. But I'm the br I'm the best Stephen Cocking that you've ever met. Hi, my name That's is Stephen Hawking. Battle. I'm Stephen Cocking. Stephen Hawking's under pants. Uh, I'm I'm Stephen Hawking's left sock. In fact, I'm Stephen Hawking's wank sock. I don't like to tell people that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, but honestly, guys, thank you. Thank you so much, and I'm sorry that we're starting to act childish now after having such a great adult experience. Eric the Tyrannoceratops says, how did FTFE do that with his voice? It's a secret. Also, I am Darth Vader. <laughs> he stole that trick from me. I was the Darth Meatube. I was Darth Meatube at one oh. time. Oh, no, no, I'm getting a member. Someone just became a member of my channel. He's, he's Darth Tight Shirt. Darth Tight Shirt. You're Darth No Light. <laughs> Darth Quantum. <laughs> All Darth, right, guys, Darth for... Wave Probability Function. Yeah. Uh, probability, yeah. Uh, okay, so everybody, everybody, thank you so much. We're going to go act like children in private now. Uh, and you guys, because that's what we do all the time. Yes, it is. What, yeah, what you guys don't realize is when we when we finish the streams, we just spend like ages talking to each other. But with these voices, we just start like, oh, let's have a chat like this, or you know, we'll, we'll have a, a battle, a sing battle off. You know, we'll um, just have some. This is what we do. We don't ever stop. We should just stream it all, I guess. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I wish that me and you could maybe form a singing group. That's I'd be totally whistles. up for that because we'd be awesome. You can't whistle, don't lie to everybody. I'm not trying to lie to anybody. But let me try to whistle real quick before you talk again. How did that sound? <laughs> it sounded like you blowing into the microphone. You need to sound like this. That doesn't sound like anything because you sound like piss. Your face looks like piss. My whole life is feeling like sweat. I think it's time that we end this show. Roger that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're done. Uh, we're out. We're we're, we're appreciative. Uh, thank you for everybody that was able to support me. Uh, thank you for everybody that's able to support Fight. Uh, like I said in, in my super chat reading, it's a pleasure to, to be the second greatest channel on YouTube. So uh, other than that, fight. I guess we're going to be on your channel tomorrow night and science or satire tomorrow afternoon, correct? That sounds about right. Make sure you right. join. Make, if you're not subscribed to Science or Satire, guys, head over there because we do a show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, and the more subscribers over there, the, the more we're going to get pushed out. So please go and subscribe to Science or Satire and share it with your friends. Yeah, and uh, thank you again, guys, everybody. Uh, I Let me try not to fail the outro. Does it count as a fail? I mean, outro failing is kind of what you do, right?
I was, I was just about to ask, does it count as a failed outro if I, if I talk myself through the ending stream process? You just know you're going to fail no matter what, because it's what you do. Team is the fail master. Uh, I think you failed. Because you're just All looking right. at the screen. No, I'm not looking at that. I'm not done yet. Leave me alone. You're not done yet. No, a team fail is a win. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me tonight. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, thank you all for joining tonight. Um, yeah, I'm just going to mask that that uh, that pseudo fail into an extended outro, so that way it's not actually failing. But I'm Team Skeptic, and my voice is out. My voice is out. <laughs>